Hello out there, everyone. I am DJ Particle. This is Particle Play Live. How's everyone going out? How's everyone doing out there today? Yes, we are still in subathon mode. We've got nine hours and fourteen on the clock. Um, I don't know if we, I don't think we'll get through all that tonight, but um, we're gonna try to take some time off the clock. Uh, now. Now, the reason why it's 9.15, whereas we ended at about 6.15 yesterday, is because today is the day I normally would stream, so three hours. So three hours have to be added on. So. <laughs> and we're doing Star Trek Online. Um, Dana and I are going to continue our voyages. Because I... Because Dana, cause Dana usually likes playing Star Trek with me, so. <laughs> so here we are. Let's, uh. Hey, Cake! We got Cake, we got Ink Toy, we got, um. We got, we've got Lynn. Welcome, welcome. Let's get back to the Delta Quadrant. Now, the one thing I've noticed, though, about, um... What? Ah, crap. Alright. You tried mint chip ice cream, it's not toothpaste, it actually feels really fresh. Not that it's nice in fact. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Now the only thing is our assist Ocompan freighter. Let me look at the map here. Okay, we got... Alright, we've got three... Alright, Better With Friends is our quest. We, uh, we, unfortunately, we can't just transwarp. Uh, luckily, the Delta Quadrant in-game in is tiny. Um, let's see, we can go to the Keliad system, the Farn system, and the Zal system. Now, the Zal system is right here, but let's do these in order. So I am going to go to the Kelsid system here. on strawberry if it was up to you we really only went to Nila to play with others. Ah. Yeah, it's definitely a, definitely a ways away. So we're gonna head there and once Dana's actually logged in I'll have her join the group. Game audio is a bit loud. Oh, good. I can pop the slipstream drive again in a few seconds. All right, slipstream. All right, we're almost there.
There we go, the Kelsen system. All right. All right, now I just gotta wait for Dana to get back. Oh god, five done already? Crap. Call the trade freighter. Ooh. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Ha, ah, I really hope they I really hope they announce uh the theme for Frosty Fest soon. Okay, getting ready here. Getting, getting nice and comfy. Ah. All right, nice and comfy. Ah, there you go. Put that down a little more. Oh, you know what I've been watching recently? I've been watching a lot of, um, a lot of reactions to the, uh, to the death battle of Rick Sanchez versus the Doctor, and oh my God, all of the all of the all of the uh, reactors who thought who thought that Rick had it in the bag. <laughs> oh God. Oh my god, Dean, this computer is really loud. Oh, wait a minute, my...
Oh, crap. No, I just realized the belts are not 100% matching. I, I gotta fix that at some point. All right, now you should have a quest called Better With Friends. Oh, where where are you? Oh, oh that's your ship. Now, the thing is, hon, you can't just transwarp. Um, but what you can do, we see, we're going to the Kelsid system first. Open up your map, hon. And, oh, well, well, zoom out. Go all the way down to the, yeah, where is it? The Yemma whatever system. Zoom in on that. Oh, not too far. All right, now you see that system in the, in the middle of the circle? That's the Kelsid system. Double click on it. <laughs> off we go. Okay. All right, let me invite Dana to the team. There we go. Uh, Dana's slipstreaming over herself. How close is she to it? Oh, she's uh, pretty close already. No? No, you're not there yet. You're, you're still, you're still, uh, um, you're still almost a sector away. Okay, you just crossed over into the sector. Now you gotta get to the Kelsid system. Haha. <laughs> Alright, she's almost there. Do not reactivate your slipstream. You're too close. I think it's um, a minute, maybe. All right, all right. All right, I see you now. All right, let the, let the box pop up and then click on satellite defense. Calcid system patrol. Wonderful. Someone actually heard the distress call. Thank you for coming to help us. What happened here, Captain? Our convoy has a shipment of defense satellites for an installation in the Necrit Expanse. Fortunately, one of our ships had some difficulty maintaining their warp field and had to stop to make repairs. We couldn't leave it behind. Normally this wouldn't be a problem, but but a Vadwar scout ship detected us and offered to assist. Well, the Vadwar are not usually ones to lend a hand. I was surprised myself, to be honest. Things were going well, until Captain Felis mentioned that Vajmar was a Talaxal safe word for foolish, and wondered why we would need their help. Ah, an unfortunate choice of words. You're telling me the Vajmar scout was furious. He promised he'd be back shortly with a whole fleet of ships to put us Talaxians in our place. Ah, well, we can expedite your repairs. Well, there's not enough time. We've already detected Vadwar warp signatures on approach. Oh, They'll be man. here soon. I have an idea. We have the defense satellites. We have no means of deploying them, but your ship could do it. You could transport them from our cargo holds and deploy them in a perimeter around the convoy. Should give us a fighting chance. What do you think? That's a reasonable plan. Excellent. Now, because they were packed for storage, the satellites will take a little time to set up and deploy. I think it's worth the risk. Well, how are the satellites deployed? All right, so you begin by deploying the alpha or primary turrets. After that, you deploy the beta or secondary turrets. Finally, you deploy the gamma or tertiary turrets. You have a limited amount of time to deploy each type of turret. Use your time wisely and do your best to cover as much area as possible. Oh, jeez. 
Are you ready to start? Okay. All right, we're coming to pick up the satellites now. So let's get over there. Full impulse. Ah, shit. We've marked good locations for you to deploy defense satellites. All right, we gotta deploy the primary turrets. Yeah. Um, 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 um. Defense satellites have been hot commodities as of late. You get close enough to them, and then you stop, and you, then you deploy the Between primary the four, turret. Species eight four seven two, the bug and the bud. One can never be too safe. Well, we still have about 30 seconds. All right, secondary turn. All right, we got to we, we got to play the secondary ones now. Another Vodwar patrol. They must have made them angry. Angrier. Ah, shit. We did it! Alright, alright, the bombs are all set. Unfortunately, they're pumping their X bombs. Alright, alright. Thank you so much for the raid! 
treat yourself to a uh, treat yourself to a uh, shout out there, Ronco. Oh, you're heading out, Caroline. All right. I've already taken down two of them. So the third one is coming up. Alright, I'm gonna come in cloaked for, th for the next one. Yeah. I just call for help. And the ship, and the ship should be there. Enough time passed, the ship should be there. Is it there? Yep, inquiry class ship. God, more Vedoir. Where the hell are- oh, they're over here! You think you can X-bomb me, huh? I'm coming, I'm coming! I'm 
popping the shit out of this thing. Evasive maneuvers. Bombing me. This is the final Vadwar group. Face of maneuvers. Yeah, they're doing their old, their old X-Bomb trick. But that's alright. Hey, Hero Chris, what's up? Oh, not necessarily. Where's the nearest one? It's this final group. I passed with this bomb. Well, we are defeating him. I just took down the ship myself. Bombing me. No, you're no, I mean, Ah! I got I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. We can do this, huh? They're actually they're actually going down quicker than that than that difficult quest, so.
Fire all everything! I wasn't. I actually got one down pretty far. All right. We are definitely splitting that group up. Says this is the final Vadwar attack for this for this sector. So yeah.
will get this hunt. We got the last one, we will get this one. I am. Hunt, stop. You can't win a game just because it's gotten a little difficult. Trying to kite them away. Well, I have kited one away. I did one away from the rest. No, you do not get to use your X bombs on. about to take out another one here. Oh, you got
shit. Ah, uh, the one I kite the way I had down to 5% when its buddies joined it. Oh my god! I, 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 was, I was trying to get to that one that was way down, and I couldn't get to it. I, I could not get to it. It just kept going further and further away from me. Was anyone even there? I was away from like everyone. Oh, come on! I was trying to I was trying to go over to help you, but but then but I've been but I got caught. I got a, te a fucking tetra caught. So did so I. Oh, what the hell? I I was trying to get to where you were. Alright, I've got help. I brought help. I have a Geneva class.
All right, I brought Geneva class. All right, all right. Got another one. No, I'm not working on any now. I, 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 I finished. Yeah, see, I told you we could do this. And, and of course, the more we get down... Take down the less that there are to fight us. Ah, what? What the hell? Something just took me down from like 75 to nothing. What the fuck was that?
All right. We almost got this. Evasive maneuver. Prevent getting x I know, Vadoir are pretty Oh, you've got a kindling. Apparently it did. I got one down to 23%. Doesn't matter, I got it. I avenged you. Don't do not worry. I I have avenged you. One hundred two. Oh, one hundred two. I got another one down to about fifty twenty eight zero. There we go. That was fast. Almost done. I think that I think there might be just that last one left. Oh, you see two. Oh. All right, invasive maneuvers. And that's it. Let's talk to the Talaxian captain and see what's up. Thank you for deploying those satellites and saving us from the Vodwar. We wouldn't have had a chance without your help. The Vodwar aren't foolish after all. They're vindictive and powerful. I I think we'll try to avoid them in the future. Ha <laughs> ha. That may be wise, Captain. Admiral, the Talaxians are preparing to leave the system. We can do the same on your command. Let's do it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Are you needing on everything? Okay. Oh, okay. No wonder I'm not getting anything. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. Okay, now next... Uh, let's go to the Farn system. Well, the Farn system is on the way on the other end of the, uh, Gamma Quadrant. So, I have, so, I have time. Oh, I didn't get anything new. All right, popping, popping slipstream. Like I said, the next one we have to go is all the 
way on the other end of the Gamma Quadrant. <laughs> oh, jeez. Keep in mind, we are still in subathon mode, folks. Uh, right now, there's uh, about eight and a quarter minutes left on the clock. I'm sorry, eight and, a quarter, eight and a quarter hours, sorry. Eight and a quarter hours left on the clock. Everything? Oh, jeez. And of course, I and, and of course, I ordered some temporal marks. All right. I don't know. I'm not getting that. Oh, uh, Farn System. See, the one, the sub-quest called Praying Upon the Weak, it's part of the Better with Friends. Uh, yeah, you do. You have it right there. I see it. Yeah, so you gotta go with the Farn System. Basically, open up, open up the uh, area map and double-click on the Farn System all the way up in Galactic North. Yeah. All right. Oh, jeez. What? Patrol farms. Uh, praying upon the weak. Farm system patrol. Go to farm system. That's what you want. Yeah. It buds all the way up. It, it's all... It's all... It's the next to northernmost system on, on the Delta Quadrant map. Hey, Hector, what's up? <laughs> How are you doing today, Hector? All right, I am getting close to the system, so. Let me know when you're here, and I'll and I'll click to and I'll click to start the sub quest. It says until the 2360s, the Farn system was home to a warp-capable species. Seeking more resources and room to expand, the Farn clashed with their neighbors in the Piraean system and launched a war that left both species vulnerable to the Borg. The collective assimilated more than 98% of the farm population and the homeworld was abandoned. In 2373, a group of farm drones freed from the collective returned to the system and once again took up their war with the Perrain. Through the assistance of Commander Chakotay of USS Voyager, the drones were linked to the collective mind of the cooperative and the conflict ceased. And that's something that, ha that actually happened in Star Trek Voyager and I've already gone past that in the Trek Watch. <laughs> You mean the cooperative? Yeah, that, that's where that's where the cooperative started. Was in Voyager. They only showed the cooperative only showed up in one episode of Voyager, but that's where they started. All right, let's see where. All right, I heard Dana just popped her uh, slipstream. Where is she? 
Oh, oh, she's all right, all right, she's uh, she's getting close. She's in the next sector over. That's okay. You're 20 light years away. You're 15 light years away. You're 10 light years away. Seven. Six. Five. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, I see you. Oh, you're, oh, you're way. Oh, you're above me. You're way above me. But you. But eventually you'll get. Oh, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Yes, you are. Turn around. Yeah, you went went way too far. What what happened was is you were is it is you were up higher than me, so you so you missed it. Yeah, but yeah, but were you? But did you steer? You're not supposed to steer when you do that. Ah, uh, that's okay. Do you have the Do you have the box? Saying to uh, begin the quest. Okay, hold on just a moment. Okay, praying upon the weak. Let's go. Hey, Fudge! Hi, what's up? Welcome to the stream. We're we're having more Star Trek adventures. And who knows how late we will go. All right, here we are. Well, let's move in closer and try to get a stronger signal. Um... Both of them, I think. <laughs> I'll go for the one on the left. Thank you for responding to our distress signal. We were unsure that it would reach anyone in time. I am James Hunt of the Borg Cooperative. We are in need of assistance. What happened here? The local star is unstable. It periodically emits solar flares. We were struck by one, and many of our systems were disabled as well. Before that, we detected Vardwar strike teams in the area. They may see our vulnerable state and take advantage of the situation. If you can assist us with repairs, we will be able to defend ourselves. Okay, we'll do what we can. This is Traken of the Vardwar. Oh, God. The Borg are defenseless. In the interest of interstellar diplomacy, I'm giving you the opportunity to disengage. Leave this system at once. We will deal with the Borg ourselves. Fair warning. If you remain, Hi, we will deal with you as well. Hey, Hector, thanks for the biddy. We are now 18 bits away from another, from adding, I think, are we 18? Yeah, we're 18 bits away from adding another minute to the clock. We will not abandon our ah, allies. So you're an idiot then. Pathetic. I'll try to make this brief. Painful, but brief. Oh, God, red alert! Repair the damage on our vessels. We will be able to work together against the Vardwar. Come on, got it. All right, I got. I I, I repaired one. You repair. Did, uh, you repaired the other. Oh, the Vardwar are over here, and they're already attacking the cube. They're throwing X bombs at the cube. Uh, they locked the cube in a catcher. What? The solar flares overload shields. We have adapted, but they will affect everyone else. Oh, the solar flares took our shields out. And we have to keep repairing the cube. By the way.
Khan, come on. We can we can do this. I've done this one myself. Solar flare imminent. Oh, oh, but wait, no, 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 hun, 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 cut it out. I've got to remember how to, you know, you got to shield yourself from the solar flares. I need to remember how. already took out a ship, so... Solar flare imminent. Something else, hon? Uh, the solar flares take out their shields, too. Well, I've already taken out the shields. This quest is easier than you may think. Solar flare imminent. Oh, wait a minute. I just took out another one. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to get out of the, uh... I'm actually trying to get out of the solar flare area as much as I can. Another, uh, another 
Solar flare imminent. Oh, oh, I thought that. Oh, wait, I thought that was out of the solar flare area. All right, got another one down. Vessels have arrived. All right. Yes, we can do this. We we have well we have backup this time. I said yes yes the solar flares take out our shields but they take out their shields too so this quest isn't as hard as you might think it is solar flare imminent another one.
God. Uh, all right, third wave. Warning. Ship is under its four shields failing. Rear shields failing. Hull integrity below 75%. Weapons that can uh, that can track close ships. Yeah. I think I got another one. Granted, we traded, but I think I got another. Ba, 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 ba. Ah, shit. Shit. All right. But, but we've been able to do it so far. It may take a while, but we can do it. Solar flare imminent. Uh, 
up, 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 up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Time? Oh. Jeez! I just got another ship. Solar flare imminent. That's the thing. It doesn't only take down... What do you have? Well, I well that's the thing. I am whittling them down.
another one down. Repair the sphere. That's wait. That's that's phase three. Reinforcements from the cooperative have arrived. All right, that's phase three. Phase four is is the last one. Another one down. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Solar flare imminent. Warning: ship is under attack. Four shields failing. Rear shield. Is that is that the last one? No, 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 no. I mean that that Vadwar Juggernaut off in the distance. Is that the last ship? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. There, there are more. Solar flare imminent.
Yeah, I, yeah, I am. Trust me, I am. I, I am when, when I can. I'm doing it when I can. Face of the movies. Gotta get away from that explosion. All right, we got the juggernaut. Hey, we're doing it. That's what counts. Yeah. And it's still easier than that, and it's still been easier than that other place. Congratulations. And that's it. Take my temporal marks. We are grateful for your assistance. We will send I think a course beyond the range part. of these solar emissions and conduct final repairs. Always looking out for potential allies. Long-range scans are clear of the Vodwar, and the local star appears to have calmed. We are in need of no further assistance. Yes, the local star seems to have calmed. Now that the battle is fucking over. <laughs> All right, leave the system. We got one more subquest on this. One more. And... Uh, okay, and we gotta go now to the Zal system. Bring up the map. Zal system is right in the right in the next quadrant over. You took what? No, no, no! Do not do Farm System Patrol. That's the one you just did. That's the one we just did. Ab abandon it. Abandon. It. J just open up your map and. Just open up your... Leave sector space. Um, um... Oh, God. I... No, 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 no. Not distress call. No. Cancel out of that. Ah, God, I gotta stop. Um... Uh, yeah, just just go down that way until until it prompts you to leave to leave for sector space. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, you want yeah you want to get to the Zal system, Z A H L. Open up your map. All right. All right, all right. Close your map. You're gonna you close your map because because you got the prompt. Warp. Okay. What? I thought I thought I asked if you wanted to set a new course. Uh, um, no. All right. Yes, you want to you want to go to the next sector south on the map. You want to go to the uh, to the um, to the Zal system. There, if you open the map, there will be a circle there. Open up your no, no, no area map. See that circle down there? Yeah, double click that. Blockade Runner is the is the name of the last subquest in this. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I know, right? Let me take a look. Yeah, I know.
Uh, there's still a few more quests after this where we have to deal with the Vadrar, but I don't know if it's space battles or ground battles. Huh. <laughs> Oh, I, j I just level capped. So I'm at 65. Where are you at? 63 and a half. Okay. Where are uh, you? You you overshot, hun. Turn around. Remember, remember, double click on the Zal system and then just don't touch your mouse. Well, just double. Well, just open up the map and double click on the Zal system again. Open up the map, double click on the Z Zal system again. Yes. And yep, your ship's turning around on its own and is heading back to the Zal system. Yeah, and when you get here. It should prompt you for the quest. I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> All right. And you're here. Uh, get closer to the star until it prompts you for blockade runner. Uh, uh, hunt, slow down. All right, blockade runner, pop it. There. Oh, phew, okay. Oh my God. <coughs> yeah. Well, for these tunes, hum, we gotta get used to it. I know, right? That's because our tune started in the 23rd century. I was so... But the thing is, I was so hoping we'd have more questing in the 23rd century. Seriously. We hear you, Governor. What's your status? Our status? The colony is under a brutal and unjustified attack. We're trying to evacuate, but the Vodwar have established a blockade. The ships and shuttles we have left to evacuate with are being taken out by heavy cannon fire. Innocent people are dying. Look, we won't last much longer. Please, help us. We're on our way, Governor. Well, what do you need us to do? We need a beacon. It'll provide a waypoint for our evacuating ships. Once they have an escape location, the convoy ships will need protection. Keep them safe long enough for them to get away. All right, make it so. Set the beacon for the escaping ships, okay? We're reading your beacon signal now. Few ships need repairs before they can escape the blockade. Uh, Our ships are about to break through. Please cover their escape. All right. Attention, all ships. Yep. Pick Vought a node. have followed raider vessels uh -oh. to this system. This is now an active combat zone. Any ship that do not leave will be targeted. Focus on the bar. They're gone. The boss should leave. I was actually able to kite one away and getting it down right now. 
Got it. Got one. Should be able to get this one. Warning. Artillery incoming. Exit area immediately. Thank you. We can make it from here. All right. All right, we repaired one ship. And uh, we already defeated two groups of Vadwar. Oh my god. Uh, there's Voth here, too. The Voth are helping the Black Wild.
Whoa, 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 What? Whoa, we're doing fine. What is, what's wrong? Let's get back to the meeting area. Follow the arrow. Uh-oh. More. Call for help too. There should be a uh, there should be a ship nearby. Well, well, at least I got the, uh... What? Alright. Well, at least I... At least I did pop... At least I did pop the help. Oh, my God. I'm already... Where's your grabber?
Oh, it's, a, it's that scout vessel. At least it was. Hey, how do you like being grabbed? Dude. How the hell do you like being grabbed? Yeah. real lifesaver. Our evacuation ships are safely on their way. We even managed to get away with some critical supplies. Thank you. What's next for you, Governor? Once we've regrouped, I'll send scout ships back to look for any stragglers. Perhaps one day we'll retake our colony. But for today, ugh, I'm just glad my people are alive. Okay. All right, we got that. Let me get my temporal marks. Up the reward. Good luck, Governor. Safe travels. The Krenim ships are leaving the system and the Vagor are breaking off. You wish to set a new course? Yes! <laughs> yes! Please! Please! <laughs> what? Commander Eldex wants to meet with oh, you in the Oh, because you're... Oh, system. well, defeat that ship I'm and bringing you should seven be okay. of nine in to back you up on this. She's familiar with the Vaudoir and will be a valuable asset on this mission. Good luck. There. Now the part system. There we go. Uh, okay, let me just make sure that that is the actual next one in the... Uh, in the storyline... Revolution. Yep, that's it. Accept it. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. All right. And and it, And it's not going to let us transwarp. All right. Where's the Momonia whatever system? Oh, it's all the way down there. Oh my god. It's all the way at the bottom of the freaking Delta Quadrant. Nope, apparently not. Ah, 
Well, just use the map thing then. Just use the map thing and do not left click. <laughs> and. And actually, you should be able to use Slipstream. Because it's far enough away. VSS Custo. I guess that depends on the human scientist now, wouldn't it? Uh, from, from the Borg. Just about fried the ship. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're crossing over into Marconia sector. And that means one more sector to cross over. And then it's all the way on the... And it's all the way on the southern end of the damn sector. Did you hit 64 yet? No? Oh. Well, all right. <clears throat> All right, it's too late to hit um to hit slipstream again, so Five, four light years, three, two, and begin revolution. Yep, you're just about there, hon. Get, get ready. There. Ha. Huh. Before you shoot past it again, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Um, we could do it. We we could we could do it. We could do it on one of those days that's raining. Oh, update from my mom. Watching the Reginald Owen or the 1938 Christmas Carol. Came home last night from the hospital. All my tests were good. Slight heart murmur, but nothing to worry about. Guess it was a guess it was a vertigo attack. Oh God, my mom's getting vertigo. That's not good either. Captain, we're being hailed by both Voyager and Commander Eldex's ship. Well, open the channel to both. Greetings. Admiral Tuvok has requested I assist you for the duration of this mission. Admiral Tuvok understands this may upset Eldex, so I shall be the only one who aids you. Voyager will maintain its distance. I am ready for transport. All right, transporting now. Let's go over the point of this operation. Gaul has called all available supremacy leaders to Cartella. I do not know how many of my people are infected with those creatures we saw there. Oh! We need to expose them for the abominations they are. That's what's going on! The Vaudoir are infected by those little crawly things from TNG Season 1. And that's why we're here at the Herogen Communications Array. You want to use it to broadcast the proof to the rest of the Vaudoir. The Supremacy is keeping a tight control on all subspace transmissions. We'll need control of the array to broadcast what we find on Cartella to not only my people, but the entire quadrant. To control the array, we need to control one of the Herogen ships. 
Make sure to leave the one I have marked reasonably intact. <laughs> leave one ship intact. Understood. Okay, approach the Herogen station and look for the marked ship. Okay. That's this station over here. And, oh, there's the marked ship. Intruding Vaudois ships, you have trespassed in Herogen space. Um, we need to... Uh, we need to use the uh, communications array. Uh, we don't want any trouble. This is our space, and this is our array. Ah, no trades, no compromises, no mercy. Oh dear! Oh, oh dear! Zap the shields up! No, he said no trades. I, I think no matter what would have happened. Uh... Oh God! Oh God! They're they're doing next bombs. They're doing X-Bombs. Ah, crap. over here to take these out. Yeah, I'm taking I'm I'm taking out the gas. Wow. Oh Have your train locked. Well, I well I can't help you right now. I popped some help. I guess so. We, it's disabled. All right, we're going to get hailed. We need to board the Herogen ship and take the communications console on the bridge. I can use that to take control of the array. Understood. Board the Herogen ship, get the communications controls. I have extensive experience with these systems. I will beam down to aid in the operation of the Herogen ship. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, beam us to the Herogen ship. All right, we got our Tarsies.
Dueling Tarsies. Here we go. Finally. Yeah, this is our first away mission in how long? <laughs> oh, dear lard. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <sighs> oh, my God. Communications console intact. Whatever else happens is of no concern to me. Understood. All right, let's 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 go. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, oh, over here. Disconnect the data network hub. <clears throat> we also need isolator storage assembly. It will be behind the locked door on the bridge. Alright, so that means... Ah, over here, this door. <coughs> hey. Hey, at least it wasn't deadlock seal. Disconnect the isolator storage assembly. Oh! <laughs> Shit! Disconnect the, uh... The EPS? Where, where is it? Oh, over here! Oh! You got it. Cut the console structure support. That's where you found it. Okay. Beam the console to Eldex's ship. Beam it up. We have the console. There is no way the Vaudoir will allow a Starfleet vessel into our space, and Cartella defenses have been upgraded since your last trip with the Hollow Projector. Take one of the ships in my fleet. Send yours away. You can contact it once we've completed our mission. I will beam over some of your crew to assist you when we get to our destination. Beam over to a Vadwar vessel. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think so too. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> oh, I noticed something in one of the in one of the more recent comic book Star Trek comic books. Uh, there's a scene with Spock and uh, Beep Chair Pike, and I noticed they're drawing Beep Chair Pike to resemble Anson Mount a little more than Sean Kenny. We'll scuttle the Herogen ship so they won't know the console is missing. Then we can continue oh, on yes, a totally different meeting. board, because we're on a totally different ship. I have ship. loaned some officers to attend to the duty stations on the frigate you now command. Understood. I'll deal with the ship. There we go. We got bad bar vessels now. I'm picking up an incoming Bentham vessel on long-range sensors. Bentham. Our ships are out of range, and we are in a Vaudoir vessel. It is unlikely the Benthans will give us a chance to explain the situation. Well, perhaps we can warn them away from the area. They are not altering course. Disabling their vessel may be the only option. <sighs> Hail, audio only. Attention, Vaudoir vessels. You are in violation of several codes of conduct in this area of space, and your ships have been identified as perpetrators of crimes against the Benthan Guard and its protectorates. Stand up! Yeah. And prepare to be boarded. Shields up! Oh god, where where they cannot escape this system. There is no need to destroy that ship. Do not. 
speak with Eldex. I will not let the plan be ruined. The plan? I've jammed the Benth and oh. ship's communications so they can't signal for help. You know what needs to be done. No one can know what happened here. Uh, you can't be suggesting what I think you're suggesting. Unacceptable. The Benthans are performing their assigned duties and have no way of knowing who or what we are. Sensors are detecting damage to the ship's long-range communications array. It will be days before they can restore warp power or send out a signal. We can leave now, complete our mission, and then return later to assist the Benthans. Sounds reasonable. We're not at war with the Benthan Guard. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. They're in range of the Herogen Array. They could tap it to send out a call for help, or disable our modifications. The Herogen could return and discover what happened. And if another Vaudwar fleet finds them, there will be questions none of us want to answer. The Benthans must be silenced. I agree with Seven. There's no reason to escalate this. We can put him in our brig or tow his ship away to buy ourselves more time. There is no need for more bloodshed. <sighs> okay. We can take him with us, explain the situation, guarantee his crew's safety. They did not need to die. Who? What the hell? I trust you won't be so squeamish in the future. There is more riding on this plan than the lives of a handful of so-called peacekeepers. <sighs> Will, yeah, he did. Will see. The Borg place very little value on the life of one individual. What? Captain Janeway and the crew of Voyager showed me that that belief was incorrect. Given uh, it's not, through, right now it's not your layout because you're on a totally Eldex different would vessel. Place more value on the lives of others. It appears that his concern only extends to other Vodwar. Um, Watch him carefully. Um, Eldex really cannot isn't be trusted. Way too, unfortunately. No, I... No, I'm saying, hun, because of all the stuff that's because of all the stuff that's going across, there really is no way to reduce it at this time. No, I haven't yet. Continue. At the coordinates from Eldex, we can leave as soon as you're ready. All right, depart. God damn. Gaul has increased security since your last visit. Let me do the talking. Understood. I don't know. Input security code and voice verification now. Verification code 109947. I hope that works. Verification accepted. Due to heightened security, all ships are required to reduce speed below full impulse for security scans. All right, understood. One hurdle cleared. Continue to the manned security checkpoint. Setting a course now. Now, don't go full impulse. Now, as you, you can send your bar up to the top. Disengage just don't hit your the arrow. engines and provide the proper security codes. Uh, Verification code Alpha 4742. Commander Eldex and Squadron reporting. Do not make me late for the meeting. Right away. Code accepted, Commander Eldex. Take your squadron to the marked position on the outer orbit ring. Good day. Ignore the scans. Fly like you belong here. Good thing you didn't try to use a hologram again, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> yeah. There are 67 ships in the system. That is more than expected. Gaul's planning something big. This must be the start. Oh, jeez. No. Do. I mean, you can, you can. More ships. No, do not hit the arrow. Not to get caught. You use use your E to accelerate and your Q to decelerate. You, Commander. 
I am after one goal. The liberation of my people from these monsters. I will do anything to achieve that, including betraying Gaul to save us all. Oh, we're almost there. It is time for someone with a stronger resolve to take up the cause that Gaul has abandoned. There are more ships in the system than I had anticipated. But we can't stop now. Leaving would only make us look suspicious. I'm transmitting coordinates for a secure room near the meeting site. Beam down there. I will have a holographic disguise ready for you. Oh, geez. Security is scanning for such tricks on ships, but I'm not sure they realize how many uses there are for hollow emitters. All right. Beam down to Kartala. All right. All right. Here, use these hollow projectors. Security is so focused on keeping intruders out of our space that they won't be looking for trouble on the ground. But try not to act suspicious. Our soldiers aren't as dumb as you seem to think they are. You'll need to place these emitters yeah. around the leaders, which, when activated, will emit a low-level delta radiation pulse that should disrupt their isoboramine neurotransmitters, forcing their parasites out for a short period. Well, that should work, but it won't give us much time. You'll also need to place recording devices, so everything that happens is transmitted to the quadrant. I'll stay here with the transmitter and monitor your progress. This is more than a simple briefing. Gaul might even be here in person. So don't get caught. We're all dead if you do. Well, worry about yourself, Eldex. We won't get caught. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go to the meeting area. Setting stuff up too. We still need the recording devices. Where where do we set those up? Oh, I see where we set them up. I know, I have it. Oh! You'll need to set up a signal. <coughs> garlic Bakery with a raid! Hello, Garlic Bakery! How you doing today? Thank There's you so much for that raid. There's a near to where the leadership is addressing the troops. Tie the repeater into the conduits there. All right, let's give uh, Garlic Bakery a shout out. Okay. Find the console and install the signal booster. I can do that. All right, here we go. Cinematic. 
It is a Star Trek game, Garlic. It's Star hey. Trek Online. What are you doing? No one is allowed back here. If we are finished here, I suggest we return to the crowd. <laughs> oh, seven? Yeah. Wait for the conference to begin. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to the conference. We should take the Dyson Sphere and begin our conquest of the Alpha Quadrant. Oh, God. I wonder what Gaul will say today. Oh, oh, we have to go up there. We have to go upstairs. There we go. Dang, that guy got owned. Yeah, he did. But uh, yeah, if you're wondering, and if you're wondering what the countdown timer is, if you're coming from Garlic Bakery's stream, uh, we're still in subathon mode. <laughs> what do you want? Exclamation mark! Add time will uh, will tell you how to well add time. What? Uh oh. What's happening? Ah! Uh. <laughs> <gasps> the monsters! Go! No, you did this! Traitor! Ha ha ha! Who are you? Monster! Slaver! Beast! Dillard! Enough! Why are you letting your eyes deceive Pretty you? Much. This is a plot by our enemies! Oh god! They're trying to divide us! I say no! We will stand strong, united! We are Vodwa, and we will conquer our enemies. That's right. This is insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is reasonable. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, be true. oh! Oh, yeah, damn. They, uh, they are pretty divided. I uh -oh. see some of you are still loyal to our cause. The rest, you are cowards and traitors, unworthy to be called Vodwa. <sighs> Kill them. Oh my god! Um, Gaul needs to be taken down, like, now. I think our time here is done. We Don't secure the extraction, the extraction point. point. Oh, we gotta go back here. Damn. Yeah, they aren't letting us get away. All right, we got beam back. All right, let's go. I'm not. I'm not arguing with him. Let's beam. I need to rally my people, the ones who aren't infected and who are willing to fight. The parasites will crush them if someone doesn't act. My allies are holding one of the space docks in the outer perimeter. Help me get there. I'll start coordinating the fight from there, and you'll be able to return to your ship. All right, follow us. We'll get you to the space dock. Oh, God. Defeat hostile ships. Uh, except I'm kind of... I was...
One more. The transmission signal is strong, and it's reaching the Corrosion communications. Ah. Now all Vaudwall will know about the corruption among us. You should go. I need to prepare my people for the fight ahead. Hi. Right. Good luck. Oh, uh, oh, go, go the, go the direction of the green arrow. No, no, you don't have to fight anymore. Just go the direction of the green arrow. I am in contact with Voyager, and it is waiting with your vessel outside this system. We need to depart immediately. Yes, let's leave. It's past your bedtime. Oh, oh, thank you so much, garlic. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. All right. Gaul and his allies are still in control, but they're losing their grip on the reins. You planted a seed of revolution. Let's hope it reaches full bloom soon. Ooh. Do I want Tetrion Beam, or do I want Tetrion Cannons? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, oh, well, it's a Mark 13. Um, <sighs> yeah, I am. Um, all right, I am. Yeah, I am grabbing a cannon. There's something interesting I'd like you to look at. What? All right, hold Our on. Our alliance is going to need more help if we want to succeed against the Bodwar. We'll need to make packs with other species in the Quadrant, and not everyone is going to see this our way. That's where you come in. Go out there and show them the value of cooperation. All right, hold on. I'm uh, I'm I'm rekitting my ship with the new stuff. Excuse me. Um, stronger DPS. You always want stronger DPS. All right. Claim, claim what? Oh, um, well, move that out of the way so you can see your inventory. No, not that, the other one. Move that window out of the way so you can see your inventory. Okay, where are your duty officers? They gotta be there somewhere. It's not what. Oh, what? Go, scroll down. I think I see something else on the bottom. What's that? That that's that. Right click. Use. There you go. There you go. And they're just automatically in there. Alright. Oh crap, and I have to And unfortunately I did not grab you go take the next quest. Well, take the next quest before the window disappears. Our alliance is going to need more help if we want to succeed against the Bodwar. We'll need to make packs with other species in the Quadrant, and not everyone is going to see this our way. That's where you come in. 
go out there and show them the value of cooperation. All right. Let's accept that. What? <sighs> All right, hold on. Well, I, well, I also had no idea that that wasn't going to work with your ship. <sighs> God, no, no, I don't want to wrap it up. It hasn't been, it hasn't even been three hours yet. <sighs> what was the other one? I'm trying to remember what the other one was. <sighs> yeah, but just because I say I'm taking something does not necessarily mean you can take it. No, I told you which one I took. I did not... Hun! What? <sighs> yeah, and you didn't wait for me. Because I was doing my stuff. I told you what I was taking. I was going to help you with it. Hun. Hun, come on. Jeez. Why? Hun. You'll have... Hun, there will be other drops. Jeez. Seriously. I'm serious. There, there will be other drops. Wait a minute. Wait, mark what? Why am I getting a science commendation rank? Oh, oh, it, it's just a, oh, it, it's just it's just XP and and a and and a um, and a cosmetic item. Yeah, but the thing is, hon, if you mouse over something and you see a bunch of red text like that, that means you can't use it. Just, just... Alright. Well, hon, there will be other drops and we will get through other quests. <coughs> Excuse me. Hun. Well, let's just get to the next quest. The Kinvar system. It's pretty near. It's right in the next sector.
hunt. It's uh, it's okay. You will get no. It is. There will be other drops. Well, I just don't want you to worry about to worry needlessly about stuff that in the long run does not matter. No, not show of force. That's that's not what we want. Tempting targets. That's what we want. The Terrain have reported a high incidence of raiders and Hunt. piracy here. Where, where are you? Their vessels are under vault protection. What? Any acts of Double click on the Kimbar system. Harshly. Just double click on the Kimbar system. What? You just didn't have. You just didn't have it. Um, zoomed in enough. It was the reason. It normally, it's not hard to click on it, but there, but there was a special, but there was a special in the air. air. So, uh, hun, I didn't even say anything. No one knows. What? What did I say? Oh, go, go. Um, yeah. Don't click anything. Just, just hit, hit your, ju just accelerate with your, just accelerate with E. Eventually, the other one will pop up. There, tempting targets. There. All right. All right. Uh, we have no quarrel with the Terray. Good. Be advised that there are Terray fighters inbound for trade relations with the hierarchy. Our escort vessels will be matching your position soon. Interference with Terray commerce will not be tolerated. Well, what is the hierarchy's interest here? Ah, let me step in and answer that. Director Flynn, Economic Projects Management. The system is a hub for profitable trade with many partners. Unfortunately, Profit attracts criminals. Security measures are being enacted to restore law and order to the system. Until those go into effect, the hierarchy is grateful for your assistance with those, uh, concerns. We have several trading partners, including the Talaxians, the Hazari, and the Teray. Some of them have signed contracts with independent security providers, such as the Voth. A wise choice, perhaps, <laughs> if not a costly one. Well, what is the nature of the Voth arrangement with the Terray? We have a strategic arrangement with the Terray. They are a protectorate of the Voth. They have requested our aid in this system, and they will have it. All right, we support the Delta Alliance and will assist in dealing with raiders and pirates. So we gotta meet up with the first convoy, which means we just go to the, uh, to the green area. Ah, well, I see our escort has arrived, and you as well. Mm -hmm. Escort convoy to the rally point. Okay. I guess that this is outrageous. To ray our thieves, they stole supplies that were supposed to be ours. Listen closely, because I'm only going to say this once. Turn the supplies over to me immediately. Or I will have no choice but to open fire. Uh, I reconsider if I were you, Captain. We will defend ourselves. And we are.
Oh god, these frigates are nothing. What? I get I got tractor beamed into the green cloud. What? We've almost got them at the rally point. That completes our run. We'll wait for our trade contact here. All right, second convoy. Much obliged for the escort. Ah! 
All right. Uh, okay, we're not actually destroying them, we're just disabling them. Fight off Raider fleet? Inbound to the tray facility. Ready to intercept. Ah, I see. Malons. Oh, God. As long as there's people without that spot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think only the bad guy has Oh, what the hell? What what the hell did I get caught? I think the green gas found me. I think I got the last. God, I got caught in a, in a whole bunch of explosions. Oh my God. Yeah, I know, I, I, I know. I, I got caught among too many explosions. Alright, I call for help. Where's the ship? There it is, Presidio class. Still can't keep shields up. Whoo! I almost got caught. Uh, talk to the hierarchy.
no longer require your services. Rest assured, you will be compensated for your efforts here. Very well. I hope we can cooperate like this more in the future. Okay. Temporary marks. There we go. And the part system. All right. Hmm, well, the Hazari were, anyway. Okay, what's next? We're about to plan an attack on the Vardwar homeworld. We need a battle commander, and I believe you're the best candidate for the job. Meet with Admiral Tuvok and myself at the Janolan Dyson Sphere to go over strategy. Oh! Oh, one of the, uh, one of the, um... One of the rewards from this is a uh, Mark 13 pistol. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. Okay, take down! And there's a transwarp button. Let's go. In takedown. Takedown, takedown. Two points. There we go. It will be fine, hun. Hun, you did just fine in that last battle. Yeah, I know. Actually, actually, I think I got destroyed more than you did in that battle. Yeah, then I got destroyed more than you did. <laughs> Mm hmm Yeah, so don't worry too much. Mm-hmm. All right. We've arrived in the Genoa and Dyson Sphere system. Our orders are for you to beam down to the surface for the conference about to take place. Acknowledged. No, uh, we're beaming down. We're beaming down. No X bombs if we're on the f if we're on the ground. <laughs> nah. No, it's twenty third century chic. It's retro. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm the Starfleet equivalent of the people who dress up for the Renaissance Festival. Period. <laughs> no, but it no, but there are there are modern accoutrements on that. For one thing, for one thing, we wear tights, not pantyhose. Admiral Janeway wants to speak with you before the briefing. Yeah. Um, sorta, kinda. Talk to Jamie. Admiral Tuvok will be giving a presentation soon. Until then, I'd like you to speak with our allies and see what they're bringing to the table. All right. Hey. All right. Thank you, Admiral. I'll talk to them. All right. So let's talk to Seven. The cooperative asked me to inform you that they appreciate your assistance and are prepared to provide what assistance they can in the final battle against the Vodwar. Well, I know the Cooperative's numbers are few. What do they offer? The Cooperative's main weapon is adapted Borg technology. Cooperative vessels can confuse the systems of opposing ships and cause them to fire on friendly targets. This tactic is most effective in mixed groups of ships, where the Cooperative can turn the larger vessels against the smaller ones. Thank you, Seven. The Cooperative appreciates your partnership. And we are eager to end the Vodwar threat to our quadrant. Our technological capabilities are at your disposal. We appreciate your assistance in this matter. Uh, oh, you already spoke to Neelix. No, I'm not it, sure no. I completely trust the Kazon after our experience with Maj Sessa. But they say they'll fight for us today. Maybe you'll have better luck reaching a consensus with them than I did. Well, what will the Kazon provide? The Kazon have a large number of ships and fight without fear. However, their lack of organization makes slotting them into precise battle formations problematic. They'll go to war with you, but they may not follow every order. Thank you, Captain. 
The Kazon are eager for battle. Our enemies will fall today. All of them. I look forward to fighting by your side. Okay, return to Tuvok. Where, where, where's Tuvok? Tuvok, where are you? There's Tuvok. The presentation will begin momentarily. Perhaps you would be willing to check in with the representatives of our other allies. We invited Eldex's people and the Herogen, but neither group chose to send a representative. Understood. I'll talk to the representatives. Oh, ben Benthan. Greetings. The Benthan Guard is honored to join you in the fight against the Vodwar. We dedicate right, our Ronco. lives Thanks to promoting law and order throughout the Delta Quadrant. Finding someone else with the same ideals is unusual, but most gratifying. All right, the support of your people is greatly appreciated. Oh, all right. I'll speak to the Kabali. It's an honor to meet you again. I am eternally grateful for your assistance on my world. By joining you in this fight, perhaps I can begin to repay a small portion of the life debt my people owe you. Well, the support of your people is greatly appreciated. And I'll do the, the Talax. Hello again! You've done so much to help us. It's only right that we help you this time. Thank you, Kallax. The, the Alliance appreciates your support. And return to Tuvok again. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If you are ready, I will begin the presentation. All right. Go ahead. All right. The bulk of the Vodwar fleet has pulled back to Vodwar Prime. We expect to face the final might of the Vodwar including Gaul's flagship. Our battle there will have five fronts, each progressively closer to the planet. <laughs> our rendezvous point will be here, where the mineral content of the moon will help to hide our ships. The Touare will secure the subspace tunnels in this area, while the Kabali will help the wounded. Ah. <clears throat> the Admiral has already given us our assignment. Our forces will assault the other side of the planet to secure the area against a possible retreat. Our Talaxian friends will be in charge of transporting prisoners of war. This Neelix! To give us the best possible chance of success, our battle commander will be able to call in one wing of our allies at each of the first four fronts. Each wing of allies has different tactical advantages. The cooperative can confuse enemies. The Kazon have many ships, and fight without fear. The Hierarchy have unparalleled espionage and surveillance abilities, and should be difficult to take by surprise. Hazari vessels fight in pairs, with one ship reinforcing the other's shields. This battle will be difficult, but we must prevail. Yep. All right, beam up. All right. Woot! All right, let's do this. Let's kill that conspiracy. And then can we stop? Uh, well, I want to try and finish the Delta Quadrant tonight. I think this is the last one. I, I think. There may be a wrap-up quest afterward, but I think this may be the last combat quest. The fleet is ready to begin the assault. I will remain behind to coordinate their movements, while you will be commanding the battle from the field. We have four wings of allies at our disposal to help you break through the Vodwar lines. I recommend deploying one wing in each area. Are you ready yeah, to begin? Yeah, we're almost done. What? Um, sure, I'm ready. The Vodwar have sent out several large frigate scout forces. Which wing of allies do you want to assist you? Large frigate scout forces. Oh. Um. Send in, uh, let's see, large frigate scout forces. Um. Uh, yeah, the, the, K, the Kazar. Yeah. 
the Kazon. I voted, hon. You have to vote for Kazon as well. All right. An excellent choice. The Kazon number should be a match for the frigates, and their lack of organization should not be too great of a hindrance. Well, let's see what the Kazon can do. Something's not right here. The Kazon are in the wrong position, and they aren't responding to my hails. Oh, come on! Uh, Tarsi, what's your take? Sensors indicate the Kazon are moving into position with the Vadwar. On screen. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Admiral, some of those ships appear to be Nistrum. We're being hailed. It's Sesson. Ah, oh, Sesson, I should have known. On screen. Fools. Did you really believe I would assist you in your folly? My mother's murder will be avenged at last. Janeway didn't murder your mother, Sesson. Seska brought her death to herself. They closed channels, Captain. We're being hailed by the Rhode Island. On screen. I was worried they might double cross us, but I never thought they would be so blatant. But come to think of it, they did say some pretty suspicious things during the briefing. Fortunately, Admiral Tuvok and I have a backup plan. Sesson has been encroaching on Herogen territory for some time. They'll join us in battle for a chance to collect his ship as a trophy. <laughs> Excellent work, Captain Kim. All right, here we go. Uh, fucking Kazon. All right. Well, what, what, well. <sighs> we will hunt. All right, well, let's let's do this. The Herogen are ready to fight. We haven't really engaged the fact yet. Yeah. I am. Ah, uh, now here come the Vadwar. Oh god. Face of maneuvers. I don't know. That those Vadwar just exploded. I don't know. Uh, these these Vadwar don't have their shields up. What's going on? Something has killed the bad one. Shield. Maybe the case. You know what? Maybe the Kazon didn't betray us after all. You think? Answer hail. This no. area is secure. What are your orders? <clears throat> Remain here with the Herosia and coordinate the cleanup efforts. The Torre fleet has secured <coughs> the subspace tunnels. The Vadwar will not be able to use them to attack <coughs> or to retreat. Excellent! 
we shall establish a medical flotilla and secure the area. <clears throat> Vessels of the fleet can transport any wounded, including Badwar, to our ships for treatment. Make sure you treat our people. All right, travel to Bravo Front. Let's go. I wonder if the Kazon did not actually betray us. The Vaudoir have set up a cruiser picket <clears throat> line in this area. Which ally do you want to advance? A cruiser picket line. Oh, God. Um. What's your advice, Admiral? We are facing a picket line of cruisers, so we need ships that can withstand constant, persistent attacks. The Hazari... Yep, we want the Borg. Choice. Their defensive capabilities he says, I believe the cooperative was... Oh, never mind. I believe the oh, the Hazari. Okay. To the task. I would not recommend the hierarchy, however. Okay, Their Hazari, then. suited to espionage and surveillance, so fighting a large number of moderately powered vessels would not be advantageous. Thank you, Admiral. Okay, so the Hazari. The have set up a cruiser picket line in this area. Send in Neelix with the Hazari. Let's go. Advance. A sound tactical choice. The Hazari methods utilize one ship to reinforce the shields of another. Vodwar cruisers do not have the firepower to break through the reinforced shielding. Well, then they don't stand a chance against the Hazari. All right. <sighs> Ooh. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Captain, I'm detecting Kazon warships warping in. They're hailing us on the screen. The Kazon Ogla will no longer stand by while the Relora and Nistrum sully our name with their treachery. I will make good on their false promises. Ah, fr frankly, Chow Carden, I'm surprised at your nobility, but glad for your help. All right, we do have some K's on, on our side this time. Uh. Um. An excellent decision. The Hazari will make short work of those cruisers. Oh, God. Here come the X-Bombs. Here come the X-Bombs. They got low what power they got. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Han. Here come the X-Bombs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. Power to shield. <laughs> well, am I wrong? I yeah, so here come the X bomb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What? Ow! I got hit with it. I, I got hit by X bombs. I got hit by X bombs, and it's three minutes. Oh, and it's, it's still three minutes before I can call for reinforcements. Yeah. Oh my god, what the hell? What the fuck did I hit? It took me down from like 93 to nothing. Oh my god.
the hell hit me? I was clear of everything. What the fuck hit me? Seriously, I was clear of everything. Bad Rock Cruiser went off by itself. One group of our allies sitting in the fleet for reinforcements now. Oh, God. I know I see them. Not for long. Ow. Oh, God. Ow. Holy shit. Well, this is still easier than that one particular quest. You do have to at least admit that. Maybe there is, but we shouldn't have to worry about them too much longer. 
face him again. a whole bunch of X bombs right in front of me and I just barely got away. Alright, we gotta disable the satellite security system. And over we gotta disable and override the satellite. We, we must disable the satellite network to prevent the Vadwar from receiving surveillance data that might allow them to make a counterattack. First, we'll need to override the security measures on one of the satellites, and we can transmit a virus that will shut down the entire network. Well, I'll set course for the satellites. There you go. We have defeated the first wave of Vodwar defenders, and we are entering position for our next offensive. The resistance has been heavier than expected, but our ships have so far proved equal to the task. Excellent work, Captain. Keep me apprised of your situation. Please remember to direct any wounded or prisoners of war to our flotilla at Alpha Front. Acknowledged. That went well. What do you want me to do now? Well, hold this area while we proceed to the next. Are you ready to proceed to Charlie Front? Yep, let's go to Charlie Front! All right, let us go to Front Charles. <laughs> the Vaudoir have constructed a defensive line of battleships supported by frigates. Which wing of allies would you like to help you? Uh, I would say seven with the cooperative. A uh, defensive line of battleships supported by frigates. That does not sound like espionage. That does not sound like espionage stuff. Send in seven with the cooperative. An excellent strategy. The technology of the cooperative may be able to cause the larger ships to attack the smaller ones. Certainly, the cooperative coordination and discipline will be more than a match for the tactical abilities of the Well, Baltimore. well, I have great faith in the cooperative. Let's do this. Two cylinders and two two spheres. Okay. All right. We got to defeat the Vadwar forces in front of Charlie Front. Let's do this! Base and maneuver away from the X-Bombs! Don't destroy me too soon. Okay, I think... Ah! Help is here! In the form of a Presidio-class vessel. Ah. Help is here in the form of a Presidio-class vessel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I pop... I pop... I pop my help, too. Presidio class vessel, get the fuck over here! Oh, 
The damn Presidio class vessel isn't doing anything. Right here. Maneuvers now! Alright, we gotta secure the orbital platforms. We must secure the orbital platforms here. We cannot afford to leave our rear flank exposed. Well, set course for them. Orbital platform secured. All right, let's hit. We are ready to begin transporting prisoners of war from the orbital platforms at your command. We've secured the platforms. The forces in this area have been defeated. What are your orders? Hold this area while we proceed to the next. All right, <clears throat> travel to Delta Front. Delta Front in the Delta Quadrant. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna freaking do it. The Vodwar have constructed a defensive line of battleships. However, knowing the Vodwar, they might. Well, be there's only one more. There's only we one more. Assist you. Yep. A wise choice. The espionage and surveillance capabilities of the hierarchy should help us prepare for any surprises the Vodwar might have in store. <clears throat> My thoughts exactly, Admiral. I have great confidence in the hierarchy. <clears throat> Pop it. All right. Ah, uh, all right. Well, let's do this. Yep, proceed. An impressive deployment. The hierarchy are more than capable of handling the bottom line. Ouch! Yeah! Oh. 
Basic maneuvers. And I still got hit by a couple of that. Hitting the same shit, so. Oh, oh, oh god, I just went from like 40 to 1 and there was no Xbox. Okay. <clears throat> Our forward shield is not down. Shut. Well, we're, well, we're taking... Now we're, we're starting to take these ships down a little more handily. Down for for our reinforcements is five minutes, but I don't think we're gonna need it. <coughs> Seriously, I don't think we're gonna need it.
Hunt, hunt, calm down. Please. It's not, it's not like we're not taking them out. It's not like we're not taking them out. I'm gonna react. I am about to take out the I think I traded with one of them. <clears throat> yes, and that and and actually I think it ended up I think it ended up blowing up real good. Ah I got, I got caught up on something. I tried to do a basic maneuver out of the X-Bombs, but I ended up hitting something. I got caught up on it. My fault. Well, the last one you whittled down to almost nothing, we did, we did end up destroying it. It must have had some sort of uh, dot. All right, help is here. <clears throat> I know help is here. It's been long enough.
one that's down really, really far. Four. Oh, you're already there. No, it's okay. I got it. I got it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I got a tractor beam on it. Come on, it was down to zero. It, it hit zero. Come on. No, he's a three right now. Two. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Stop it. Heavy cruiser, you were trying to get down? It's down. Likewise. All right, now we got disabled the repair platforms. We must disable the orbital repair platforms in this area. The Fadwar could repair their ships and allow them to re-enter the conflict. The platforms are networked together, so if we access the recognition protocol subroutines and any single platform, the change should propagate to the other platforms. Well, set course for the platforms. We're already there, actually, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Transmit the protocol overrides! And... The Benthans are hailing us again, Admiral. On screen! Sir, we have broken through the ranks of the Badwar defenders. They're falling back, but we have them contained. We anticipate being able to rendezvous with you at Echo Front shortly. Excellent work! The Vaudois forces are defeated. As I knew they would be. <laughs> what are your orders? Hold this area while we proceed to the next. Travel to Echo Front. <laughs> well, that's alright. You can always bring the window back up. All right, here we are. We have broken through to their final line of defense, their command ships. However, in doing so, we have exhausted our supply of allies, and the Vodwar dreadnoughts are formidable. This will be a difficult fight. <clears throat> well, we have to press on, even if it's difficult. <clears throat> Not quite alone. The Rojan have matters well in hand. So the Rhode Island is at your disposal. Glad to have you here, Captain Kim! 
I have temporarily taken command of a cooperative vessel. You will not fight alone. <laughs> oh, yes! Wonderful seven, we can use the help! Answer the help from the The hierarchy leader. also agreed to send a single ship to assist in the final assault. Under the command of yours truly, of course. I'm finally getting to use my emergency command subroutine. <laughs> That's why he's in a but captain uniform. But you would uniform. not believe the amount of paperwork I had to fill out. Fantastic, Doc! Last but not least, the Hazari managed to spare a ship and put it under my command. Captain Neelix. I quite like the skill of that. Indeed, Neelix. Thank you. I am impressed with the show of support from our allies. However, my captain is now All right, we have to fight. Well, we have... The Vagwara are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. This fight probably won't be as hard because we have so many allies here now. We have the combined strength of all the previous allies. No, no, they came. They came anyway. X-bombs. Yeah, the, yeah the, these ships are going down a lot faster. What? Well, oh, we, we, def well, we defeated the doll. Now we gotta finish defeating his fleet. We got his flagship before we got the rest of the fleet. Yeah, which means we're probably going to have to uh, get to one foot. Are there any... Oh, over there. Okay, it is hiding behind something. Uh, and, uh, Sir, you've arrived to help secure the area. Excellent. I'm needed on the surface. Admiral. Gaul appears to have escaped to the surface in an escape pod. Well, let's go get this guy! Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Gaul landed somewhere in this area. He must have gone to those tunnels. Well, let's follow him then. All right. Let's go.
this way. Oh god. I see. Oh, I got you can't pass to at that time. All right, let's get back in. Actually, I think we ended up getting them all. I don't see any others. Oh, there's one left. This way. Alright, we reached the hangar. <coughs> oh, God. Defeat Vadwar. <coughs> There's plenty of Vadwar here. Over here. Enemy target on they got your Tarsi? Shit. Shit. God, is that my Tarsi? Yeah, that's my Tarsi. Ah! Damn. <clears throat> One shot it. Oh, what the f- Oh, it's because of that attack he's got. All right, down this way. Oh, something else to take. Reach the control room.
engineering kit. <clears throat> well, we're here. We gotta unlock the door. Alright, you ready? So are we. Don't... Don't argue it. Oh! Uh, your Tarsi got my Tamet. Or is that my Tarsi? No, that's your Tarsi. What? No, 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 yeah, no your Tarsi um, regenerated my Tamet. Oh, over here. <coughs> Let's go! This is, this is it. We're heading toward the big bad battle! Alright! Welcome, my friends. You should have joined me when you had the chance. Oh, God. God. Your persistence is a credit to your race. But it is time for this sad story to end. Your blood will drench the sands of our blasted home. It's over, Gaul. Surrender now and save the lives of your remaining soldiers. Then come and get here. Um. Yeah, open that. There. All right. All right, let's go. And I'm right there. Oh my god. Congratulations. <laughs> you have earned the right to die on the hallowed soil of Bagua Cry. Although you are clearly not the brightest <laughs> aliens in the universe, your bravery is admirable. <clears throat> and I do respect Starfleet for ending my people's long twilight. Surrender now, and I give you my word I will spare your people. You and the other leaders will need to be executed, of course. But that is only to maintain order. <laughs> Personally, I bear you no ill will. A generous, a generous offer, but I must decline. That's twice you've refused my generosity. generosity. I should be insulted. Oh. Your pitiful blindness makes it difficult. Well, and I feel only contempt for your delusions. Oh, God. More idiots. There are more of those alien. Ow! Oh, jeez. No, 
no, it's not all that bad. Just run straight ahead. <clears throat> well? The Vardwar controlled this quadrant once, and our new allies have only made us stronger. Ah, uh, no! Fuck. <laughs> Pomp. <laughs> Is that the best you've got? Now's your chance. Defeat Gore. Yes. Let's do it. I think we got him. Well, we got him on the run. He's running away. Fucking pet talk. Up. Uh, I think that's what he just did. Uh. About war empire will never fall, and you will not even be a footnote in our glorious history. All right. Ah, uh, is that him coming back or? Yeah, that's him coming back. All right. We can do it though. We we got them. We got them mostly down.
They shouldn't be. I've been taking down clones. Well, we are making progress. No, Gaul is almost down. No, he keeps regenerating his shield is what's going on. We, can. we cannot be stopped. Time after time we rise from the ashes, and we are stronger ha! for doing <laughs> so. Your logic is flawed, Gaul. You are already defeated. The evil I mistakenly unleashed on the galaxy ends at last. My people and the galaxy must believe the parasites were behind his madness. No, he didn't. No, he was working with them. He didn't. He himself didn't have a parasite. Buff. The remaining Vodwar have surrendered. What is your <laughs> <constitution>? <laughs> 
What the hell? What the? Look, what the? What the? What the we're in Gaul's commander. We're, we're in Gaul's command center, Admiral. Gaul's dead, and we're doing the wiggle. Were you able to determine <laughs> why he returned to the surface? It was a tactical error. Even if under special <laughs> him, Gaul would have more opportunities to escape if he had remained in his ship. Not yet. Join me, and we can investigate. Certainly. May I recommend Seven, Captain Kim, the Doctor, and Neelix join us as well. Their insight may be valuable. Absolutely. Will you contact them for me? What? Yeah? Yeah, mine's doing it too, hun. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> we're, No, we're just doing the wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Talk to the doctor. You're not here with us? Where, where are you? Oh, no, no, no. Go into the door. You remember the door where Gaul ran out of? Originally, no, no, no. That, behind you, behind you, behind you. That door. At least I think it is. No, oh, wait a minute. Wait, is that the one? Oh, the other door then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all three of my people are doing it. Yep. And then, or is that the way you came? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. There. <laughs> all right, I'm going to talk to the doc. War is just a pointless waste of life. Usually for a political reason, it doesn't much matter in the long term anyway. <coughs> Message I for you. And that sometimes we need to fight to defend those who cannot defend themselves. I respect that. But what <coughs> Gaul was doing here was madness. It's one thing for him to want to rebuild his people. It's something entirely different to destroy dozens of worlds to do so. Indeed. Well, well, yeah, he's being the he's being the emergency command hologram right now. <coughs> While this conflict was regrettable, it was ultimately for the greater <coughs> good. Gaul's hubris and ambition <laughs> blinded him to the harm he was doing to the Delta Quadrant <laughs> and his own people. Now the threat is Now the threat is what? <laughs> I can't either! I was responsible for the return of the Badwar. <coughs> Even though Admiral Janeway told me she might have done the same thing, it was ultimately my actions that allowed all this destruction to happen. I participated in the assimilation of many different species during my time with the Borg. Those acts weigh on me. The wanton slaughter caused by the Vodwar will do so as well. Seven, you wouldn't, you couldn't have known what would happen. Nevertheless, I am pleased I could, in some way, make up for my actions. By assisting the Ture, working with the Cooperative, and fighting the Vodwar here today, we have helped end what began more than 30 <coughs> years ago when I activated those stasis tubes and freed the Vodwar. Thank you. You're welcome, Seven. We couldn't have done this without you. Uh. Uh. <laughs> where's everyone else? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, talk to Neelix. I'm not a man who normally dwells on revenge, but when Gaul and his soldiers attacked my people, <laughs> it was almost all I could think about. Dexa helped me to see that death doesn't heal wounds of the heart, but thank you. This quadrant is safer now that Gaul and his soldiers are defeated, and I'm glad I was here to see it happen. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and last, we speak to Captain Kim. Sorry about, sorry that we're doing the wiggle here. Honestly, <laughs> I wasn't sure about coming back to Delta Quadrant. <laughs> I have a family, a life back home, and the idea of being 70,000 light years away again wasn't appealing. But seeing the good we've done for the Gabali and now stopping the Vodwar, I think we were needed here. You were needed. Thank you. It's been a pleasure serving with you. I hope we meet again. It was good serving with you, Captain Kim. 
Admiral, I'm detecting an unusual radiation emanating from that door. <clears throat> well, let's investigate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Open door. Oh! I stopped! <laughs> Take strange device. Looks like we're done here, Admiral. Are you ready to beam up? Yep. Yeah, we're all ready to beam up. <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. With the defeat of Gaul, we've saved the Quadrant from a terrible threat. Well done. This unknown artifact concerns <coughs> me, however. We'll be in touch once we know more. All right. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. And I think what's left behind is the last of it. Let me see. No, next to last of it. What? Admiral Tuvok would like you to join mm -hmm. his team as they study the mysterious artifact you found right, on um, Bandwar Prime. Take what's left behind. That is the, the next Nal quest. System. All right, meet Voyager in the Nal Shadan system. Which is located in the Delta Quadrant. Okay. There's something interesting I'd like All to look All right, first. First, I gotta take stock of what I have here. Do I have anything that's science? A second ship? Where? Oh. Uh, you could add it to your fleet. Uh, I would say I would say only if you only if you actually deleted it. Yeah, I know. Ah. Uh, oh, um, yeah, except. <clears throat> that's, that's the next quest. But, hun, it's this, these are the wrap-up quests. It's just that, and then one more wrap-up quest, and we're done with the Delta Quadrant. Well, all right, let me, let me uh, do mine first. I, do, I don't have any sci- I don't have any science anything. All right. Item, item, uh, wait a minute, Tarsi needs items first. Item, oh, oh, well, what's that? <coughs> Plasma Full Auto Rifle Mark 12, Vodwar Pulse Wave Pistol Mark 13. Holy fuck.
Tarsi, have a new gun. To Matt, have a new gun. Yeah? No, 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 no. I, I, I am. Just let me do mine first. <laughs> Here, Suntaran, take this. <laughs> Carmex. I'm going to do mine first. Alright, now... Now for the Zelensky. Polaron... No. No, that can... That can go away. <coughs> I already have a better one than that. Tetrion Cannon Mark 12. What's the deeps on that again? 475.2. Hey. Oh, I can't put that there. Okay. Can I put that there? Nope. Can I put that there? Nope. Can I put that there? Nope. Alright, looks like I'm stuck with that. Okay. <coughs> bigger targeting arc. Okay. Alright. And this... That's an engineering kit that I have no use for. Alright. <coughs> Alright, let's take a look at the Rutan. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Hold on just a moment. I'm going to help Dana with something.
All right, I'm back. Okay. One is parked next to us. Uh, that would be. Whoops. That would be the, uh, the ISS Orion. ISS Orion. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's apparently a. Uh, it's apparently a. a a player vessel. And it looks like it's uh and it looks like it's a um a constitution variant and they just warped out. Alright. <coughs> Alright, let's uh let's finish off let's finish off the Delta Quadrant stuff. Let's rendezvous with the, with our friends. What you left what we let's rendezvous with what we left behind. <laughs> I know, but we're almost done with the Delta Quadrant. This isn't going to take much longer. Start what's left behind. Map transfer failed. What? Oh, you have got to be frickin' kidding me. No. Uh, <clears throat> oh, my. Ah, shit. Um, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I know what it is. I know what it is. I screwed up. What? All right. I'm going to do this the hard way then. All right, I'm I'm going to I'm going to restart Star Trek online. Hold on. Um I I am still streaming, so it's not us. Oh. It made me it, it there was a patch. Let's see. All right, it said there was a patch, so let's see what's uh, going on here. Okay, it is connecting to the account server. Oh, mine. <coughs> Maybe because I stayed um, idle for too long. Whoops. There. <clears throat> Last non attempt normal login. Let's see what happened. All right, all right, begin what's left behind. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm he I'm I'm heading there. Hold on, hold on. Well, you're already there. Team invite. All right. Okay, ops. Sir, we've arrived in the Nal Shadon system. Voyager sends Admiral Two Box regards and says they're ready for you as soon as we're moved into transport range. All right, let's meet with Voyager. Just fly toward Voyager. Our beam to Voyager, <coughs> and it looks like we're and it looks like we are. Uh, oh no, there you are. Okay. <coughs> Transport complete. Sir, Admiral Tubak has arranged to greet you in the transporter room. He wishes to speak to you about the device we recorded from we recovered from Gaul. Alright. Welcome back to Voyager. 
<coughs> we were about to begin studying the device you recovered from Gaul's communication center. Since you have spearheaded much of our efforts here, I would like you to take the lead once again. <coughs> Captain Kim and Seven of Nine are at your disposal. Talk with them if you need more help deciphering the device. When you finish your analysis, return to me for further orders. I will be here in the transporter room to see you off. Understood, Admiral. I'll take a look at the device and engineering. Okay. Well, let's, uh... God, I... There's a trouble with... Okay. Engineering. Oh, whoops. I, I ran right by engineering. Talk to Captain Kim. Glad you're here. We transported the <coughs> device to engineering here so we could run all the scans and tests we could think of. The first thing we need to do is determine how it's communicating. We can't find any normal transmissions from it, but we're hoping you have some new ideas to bring to the table. Agreed. Let's check it out. <clears throat> it, it's not letting you analyze it? Oh, God. You studied the device for a while and realized it must transmit a signal of some sort. None of the normal detection mode seems to give any sort of feedback. You decide to investigate some of the more exotic transmission forms. Um, all right, scan the device for subspace fields. Uh, the Vadwar are self-proclaimed masters of underspace to form subspace in the Delta Quadrants. You hypothesize that the device may be used to communicate directly to subspace. Your scans pick up a faint resonance. The device does appear to be designated to communicate with similar devices located in subspace. Alright, let's tell Captain Kim. The device communicates with subspace. We should have guessed that. Now comes the hard part. We need to access the device's memory core. The engineering team here on Voyager is good. Yeah, if only one of us gets to scan notch, it, I probably it should because it might take more time than we have stream. for either team to make a full analysis. We should have both teams give you their opinions on the device. If we work together, hopefully we can make a breakthrough. Agreed. You'll need to set switches on the device until we get solid readings. Oh God! We'll be able to tell it's if a switches puzzle. are in the correct position, but not which switches. Good luck. All right, I'll go set the switches. You have the teams tell me what state the device is in. It's a puzzle. I can ha I, I can do. I can handle this. Okay. There are three switches in the on the device. Each one can be oriented either on or off. You're required to get all three switches into the correct orientation before you can access the memory banks. Captain Kim will assist you in the task. The engineers tell me there is only one switch in the correct orientation. Unfortunately, we can't determine which switch it is. The engineers tell me there is only one switch. Sir, I've consulted with both the engineers here on Voyager oh, and your channel. They all had to be turned on. I am seeing green across the board. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have access they all to had the primary to be turned memory on. core of the device. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're only halfway there. Now we need to access the secondary memory core to get full access to the data we need. All right, access the secondary memory core. There are three switches on the device. Each one can be oriented either on or off. You're required to get all three switches in the correct orientation, blah, 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 blah. The engineering teams are reading big... All right. The engineers tell me they're... The engineering team... Off, Looks off, like off. Again. All the switches are in the correct <laughs> position, and we now have oh full my access God. to the memory core of the device. Seven of nine yeah, no. assistance in accessing the memory banks of that device. She's in astrometrics, attempting to get a fix on the location of who or what is receiving these transmissions. Excellent. I'll go see seven of nine. What? Oh, oh, of course. Uh, there's astrometrics. We have access to the data banks of the device. Very efficient work. 
From the data we have received so far, we will be able to pinpoint the exact transmission coordinates. However, it is possible that doing so may alert whomever is on the other end that we have reverse engineered their technology. There are three likely ways to get at the information. I suggest further analysis to determine the best course of action. Extract data. But stay, but stay away from lore. You have root access to the device now. All that is left is determining via the device's memory where the transmissions were being sent. Hopefully you can do this without alerting the parties on the other end. Hmm. Ramifications. Taking the time to probe the defense of the device, you determine that if you attempt a brute force intrusion, you have a better than average chance of getting the information without setting off any alarms. If you were attempting to encrypt a query, you feel that the security protocols would likely trip some sort of alert to remember on the other end of this. Finally, a multi-vector query will most likely alert the recipient to So we're brute forcing it. Okay. No one usual activity is detecting at the location in real space we can enter subspace near the transmission location, the Nal Shadan system. Now that you have the location of the transmission's destination point, you should speak to Tuvok. Admiral, Admiral Tuvok is made ready to meet you in the transporter room, sir. Alright, let's get back to the transporter room. You here? Okay. Fascinating. Excellent work. With this location, we may be able to finally reveal who gave the Vaudoir their advanced technology, and why the neuroparasites appeared again in this time and place. Commander Jarok of the Romulan Republic has requested to join you on this operation. Her own analysis of the device has shown that the Romulans have had some contact with the creators of this device, a race known as the Ilachi. She will meet you in subspace at the given coordinates. Finally, Voyager's emergency medical hologram, the Doctor, will be assigned to your crew. His knowledge of the Delta Quadrant races may prove invaluable. He's not much of a combatant, but should prove useful. Understood, Admiral. Yeah? Oh, oh, sorry. Hello again. I look forward to our mission together, Admiral. Uh, sorry. All right, well, let's do this. Back to the ship. Right, I beam me back up to the ship. All right, let's go. Sir, we've successfully transitioned to subspace. The RRW Lisset should be arriving any moment. Looks like Gaul's communications were going to an Alachi outpost station. It's still active, sir, and picking up several Alachi ships in the area. Well, go to Yellow Alert and keep an eye on those ships. Greetings. This is Commander Jarok of the RRW Lisset. When we learned that the Alachi were involved, I requested to shadow you on this mission. <coughs> I know your experience with the Alachi is limited. The Romulan Republic, however, has an extensive history with this race. Well, who exactly are the Alachi? The Tal Shiar used Alachi to help invade Varanat, a colony made up of Romulan refugees seeking to make a new life for themselves. The two factions worked together to convince Romulan colonies to join the Tal Shiar. It was in spite of this that the Romulan Republic was forged. We fought off the Tal Shiar and eventually made a stand against the Alachi and New Romulus. Many Romulans gave their lives in defense of our new homeworld. But that final defense <coughs> seemed to quiet Ilachi attacks for quite some time, barring the occasional incursion from subspace. Understood. All right, we'll follow your lead here. All right. We're seeing three patrol groups. Recommend we eliminate <coughs> them before we board the station. All right, let's do this. <coughs> mm-hmm.
I love when the battle in these when the battle in these is All right, approach the outpost. <clears throat> Another Alachi ship is here to defend the outpost. We already got the battleship down. Uh, ready to transport you to the station as soon as you're ready, sir. All right, let let's beam. Um, there, let's beam. <coughs> I said let's. <clears throat> Why? Hun, let me tell you, let me tell you something, hun. The actual 
the actual death death rate of the transporter system is is less is is less than is less than the death rate of airplanes. I mean, come on. Good. You found Not the breathing apparatus. Really. That should take care of that nasty cough. <clears throat> um, okay. We've arrived in the outpost station, sir, and the doctor's offered to accompany the away team to offer his extension knowledge of the Delta Quadrant. In addition, Commander Jarrock's taking the away team from the Lisette to another part of the facility. She wants to speak with you before we begin. Commander Jarrock? I was thinking we should split up and cover as much of the facility as we can, unless you have a better idea. Doctor, uh, what's your take on the situation? This is obviously an Alachi facility. What I know about them comes from the Romulan Republic's databases, but I should be able to learn more as we examine this location. The air here is suitable for the Alachi, which means that you may find breathing difficult. I, of course, do not have that problem. If you have an environmental suit, or even some sort of rebreather, you will be fine. If you don't, keep an eye out for something that could help filter out the toxins. Okay. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. These are Solene tables. I've read the Enterprise D's reports about them. Oh, the Alachi. They're the um, the Alachi are the uh, are, are the um, are, are the are the are the aliens that anal broke you basically. Yeah, they're they're yeah they're the they're cla they're the classic uh, they're the cla they're they're basically grades for all intents and purposes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Scan the bed. These are definitely Solene tables, which, if I'm correct, and I always am, is the same race you dealt with after using the Iconian Gateway on New Romulus. Uh huh. The Solene kidnap victims through subspace for their brutal experiments. If they are somehow connected to the Alachi and the Badwar, this is beginning to make more sense. If I had to guess, there must be a stasis room nearby. We should find it and rescue anyone in there who can still be saved. All right, let's do it then. <clears throat> Uh, all right, we can't. All right, there, there. That's a barrier. We can't do that. So we have to go. I think. No. Oh wait, wait. This way. Um. What? <coughs> all right. It looks like. This way. It looks as if they are converting their captives into more Alachi. If my readings are correct, there are several individuals here who have only just begun the conversion process. We can save them if we beam them back to your ship. Mm -hmm. All right, liberate and prison test subjects. Ah, uh, uh, but we gotta take out the Alachi.
Pretty much. <clears throat> You'll be back on duty before you know it. One to beam up. There are some humans. Uh. <clears throat> a Kazon? Even the Boar won't assimilate a Kazon. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Everything will be fine, Mr. Turay. We'll beam you directly to safety. Oh. <coughs> Klingon. This is no way for a proud Klingon warrior to go out. We'll patch him up immediately. Hazari, stay calm. We'll get you the medical attention you need. Hmm. We're transporting you to a Romulan ship in orbit. You're going to be fine. Atalaxian. Transport this Talaxian directly to sickbay. All right, we got that. Well, the Solene are definitely <coughs> involved. I believe I have everything I need from this area. We need to keep moving if we hope to meet up with Commander. The door Jerome. is unlocked now. We should keep going. Hey, don't rush us, Doc. Oh god, they're back in this room again. Move to the window. It says move to the window. This is odd. You sound like you're in a Solonate lab, but we're in some place that looks like a prison. In fact, I'd say that's exactly what it is. And they've just had a breakout. A prison Whoever break? it was, they used Maybe our rival as the distraction they needed to make their move. I'll keep looking for more information, but I hope the escapees are friendly. Oh, be careful, Commander. This way. Oh, this way. Neural parasites. This must be where the Vardwar were implanted with those mind controlling bugs. Neural parasites. Mm -hmm. Just as I suspected. Did you know that several Starfleet <coughs> officers were infected by these in the mid-2360s? The Enterprise logs from that era are fascinating reading, if you ever have a few dozen hours to spare. Well, I'll take a look at them later, Doc. Continue, please? If Gaul and the infected Vadois were communicating with this station, it stands to reason that this may be the facility where the Bluegill implantation takes place. We should definitely investigate further. Mm -hmm. Find the implantation room, then I should be able to analyze <coughs> their equipment and gather more information. All I don't right. believe it. The empirical evidence is right in front of me, but I'm actually having difficulty processing this information. What is it? This tech, this whole facility. 
it it's Iconian. Iconian. Uh-oh. There are variations on the norm, of course, because of the Solene and Alachi influence. But I see distinct signs of their presence throughout the facility. Iconians here too? The Iconians, as we know them, rarely reveal themselves. The only known interaction with an Iconian in modern history took place on Kronos when Wait, you were there. I don't need to explain that situation again. As I was saying, the Iconians don't like to act directly. They use servitor races, like the Alachi and the Solene, to cause chaos in their name. And the neural parasites, they've bioengineered. Rather like the founders <coughs> created the Gemadar, but sophisticated enough to control another species. And with much less free will, the parasites are a weapon. What about the Vadwar? They were active before the Iconians revealed themselves. When Voyager revived the Vadwar, their technology was outdated compared to what other powers in the Delta Quadrant had at that time. Even the Kazar <clears throat> outdid them. But now, Vadwar technology is cutting edge. The only way they could have advanced so far, so fast, was by allying themselves with someone else. With the Iconians. The Vadwar got their tech upgrades from them, but they also got the new the parasites gave the Vodwar power. Exposition, exposition, <laughs> talking. the ones pulling the strings. This entire war what? has been against an enemy we didn't even yeah. see. Oh, um, it's, oh, I, I guess I could. All right, well, that's the information we need to find. Let's meet up with Commander Jarrock and then get off this station. Um... Destroy neural parasites. How? We gotta destroy these neural parasites, but but how? Oh? Is that like a Soul or something? I just got something that said new respawn point unlocked. Oh, um, hold up. We gotta scan these implantation devices. Some of this technology is ancient, but it's quite advanced. <clears throat> these parasites aren't a natural species at all. They look 
engineered. And what about here? This is more like a factory than a laboratory. All right, back to the parasite chamber. What? Oh. Over here. Sir, I've taken some quick readings of those Alachi. They're showing some of the same energy signatures as a parasite enhanced Vadwar, but they're fluctuating. The Alachi will be phasing in and out of invulnerability. We can beat them, we just have to pick the right moment. Attack the Alachi with the blue effects. Oh, God. Ow, did not mean to run into that. Understood. Maybe we'll we should be ready avoid any potential contact with the prisoner. I think I've seen enough combat for today. All right, we gotta go this way. Come on. This is pretty much the wrap up of the quest chain. That's what I want. <coughs> hmm. Yeah. There. Oh, wait a minute. Over here. Yep, there's the door. Found it. Ah, oh, okay. Cinematic. I know. It's not mine either. Ah. Who is it? Silas! Always showing up when you're least expected. Sila. And the Alachi is... No, 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 no. Sila, no, Sila. Sila runs, well, no, Sila runs the Kalshia. I don't think the Iconians want me to leave. It shouldn't matter. Their tenacity is almost admirable. Oh god. Oh. Looks like you could use a hand. Hey!
And now we have their leader's attention. Oh, God. Commander Jarrah. Sela! I should kill you where you stand. It would be justice for all the lives you've destroyed. Calm down, Jarrah. And if you do, you'll never learn about the Iconians. I've been here for months. I've seen enough to know you need my help. That could be very valuable information, Commander Jarrah. Fine. You interrogate her. I might get a little carried away. But she returns with me to the Lisette when you're finished here. Sela is a prisoner of the Romulan Republic. Your government can go through official channels if they want to talk to her. Agreed. You can, you can take custody of her once we're done. You and this Sela person seem to have some history. I'll leave you to speak to her. All right. Not so fast. You have the weapons, but I have the information. If you want to learn what I know, you'll need to keep those Romulan rebels under control. You've stumbled into something much greater than you're prepared to handle. I'm the best ally you have. Talk. Now decide what happens to you. I assume you already know where you are. Both the Alachi and the Solene serve the Iconians. The Alachi are their warriors, and the Solene are their scientists. They're the ones <coughs> who created those creatures implanted into the Vaudoir. The neural parasites? Why do the Iconians use them here, but not in the Tal Shiar? Hakib joined the Iconians out of faith. He thought the Iconians would create an empire he could rule. That did not go as planned. This time the Iconians wanted to control their puppets. When the Vaudoir asked for strength to defeat their enemies, the Iconians gave them the parasites. The Vaudoir had strength, but also strings. Strings that have now been cut. I'm sure you had something to do <clears throat> with that. Yes, alongside an alliance of the Romulan Republic and the Klingon Empire. All three of you working together? The world has changed in my absence. Are were the Vaudois that much of a threat to the Alpha Quadrant? Uh, actually, we're in the Delta Quadrant right now. That explains some things. I'd love an escort back to the world at large. I have a feeling you have some questions first. Yeah, I do. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Well, what's your relationship with the Iconians? Were you their prisoner or ally? How important is that, really? I worked with the Iconians because, at the time, I thought it was the best thing for my people. After we lost the homeworld, we were scattered, starving. A shadow of what we once mm. were. What were we supposed to do? Beg the Federation or the Klingons for scraps? Pathetic. The so-called Romulan Republic has made their way, but they did it at the cost of Romulan dignity. Is dignity more important than survival? We are not refugees. We are Romulan. We needed a strong leader to bind us together again, and I knew I could be that leader. The Iconians were a means to an end. They gave us strength at a time when we were at our weakest. But I know... Ah! What Hakiv... Huh? What he and the Iconians did to our world? Perhaps I would not have made the same decision. The Republic is thriving. You were in prison. Who made the better choice? Dwelling on the past is meaningless. I am here, and so are you. Today, our goals are aligned. We both want to stop the Iconian <coughs> advance. You need me. I'll answer what right, I well, can. Right, well, do the Iconians have a you weak, something we can exploit to help us defeat Hubris. Them. The Iconians think they are the rulers of the galaxy. They thought so 200,000 years ago, when they were driven off their homeworld by the fire of a thousand races allied against them. They think so now, when they look at us uh -huh. and see us as children stumbling in the dark. They do not see our strength, our willingness to fight. 
Use their hubris against them, and the Iconians will fall. I'll do what I well, can. What's the Iconian master can... plan? I honestly don't know. Why would they share their plans with a prisoner? That may make me less valuable in your eyes, but don't be fooled. I know more about the Iconians' operations than they realize. Well, in that case, I'm not convinced you've learned anything useful. Did you know that the Iconians don't have a concept of spaces being separated? Of course, it's obvious when you watch how they use gateways. To the Iconians, every place in the galaxy, maybe even the universe, is just a step away. Think about that for a moment. Then think about why you never see them. Where are they hiding? I know. Because I've been there. How does that help us? You aren't going to defeat the Iconians by flying around in space looking for them. They learned their lessons about staying in one place a long time ago. This hunt isn't about following a long what? road. It's about taking one step in exactly the right place. All right, place. hold on. I'll answer what well, I can. where's the rest of your crew? You can ah. The crew. The Alachi took them one by one and turned them into those things. Revolting. If I had known that was what they were doing with the captives from the colonies, I would have... Well, now is dwelling on the past. Yes. You were asking about the crew. A handful of us were still alive when the station went on alert. We took a chance and made our escape. They died, nobly, as Romulans protecting their empress. I will remember their sacrifice. All right. All right, well, I think we're done here. Let's return to the ship. Will I be taken ship. into your custody? Or will I be left to Tiara's tender mercies? Well, we've agreed that in the spirit of cooperation, Commander Jarrock will take custody. She's under strict orders to deliver you directly to Alliance Command, and you will not be harmed. Very well. It's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I? All right, Lisette, one to beam up. We're finished here, Captain. See you safely in the brig of Lissette, although I think there will be a lot of negotiations between the Republic and the Federation before we know what will happen to her. Until then, we should report our findings to Admiral Tubok in Alliance Command. All right, let's beam, beam me up. Beam us up. We have Empress Sela in our brig. When she was taken by the Iconians last year, many of my people thought she would get away with her heinous crimes against the galaxy. With her in my brig, I am happy to know that is no longer a possibility. Of course, I understand that the Romulan Republic's claim on her is not unique. Her crimes are against all of the Alpha Quadrant. To that end, I will ensure that she be made available to all the Alliance leaders for interrogation and debriefing. Continue. Well. That wasn't exactly what I'd call a walk in the park. At least we know exactly how the Iconians <laughs> are controlling the Vodwa. And you've certainly put a crimp in their plans. On the upside, as a photonic life form, I'm immune to any attempts at subversion by neural parasites. I'll see to the care of the captives we rescued. In the meantime, it sounds like you and the Romulan Republic Command have a lot to talk about. Sela certainly has a story to tell. But should we believe all of it? I'll put a bug in Admiral Janeway's ear about the situation. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> You're going to be busy. Don't overdo... Oh, who am I kidding? Command officers never take their doctor's advice. Just remember that you're not in this alone. <clears throat> Good luck. I suspect things are starting to get interesting. All right. Sir, the fleet has sent intelligence ships to comb the outpost for more information on the Iconian involvement. We are cleared to return to normal space on your command. All right, let's do it. Um, believe it or not, there is one, I think there's one more wrap-up quest. I think there's one more wrap-up quest. I think there's... I'll say one thing, Vasila. When she puts a scheme together... She doesn't think small. For now, her fate lies in the hands of the Diplomatic Corps. Starfleet will be in touch once they've learned more. Okay, there's we got something that. interesting. I'd like you to look into. All right. I think there's one more wrap-up quest. Let we have see. a situation on Kabali Prime. You and I were both asked by name to help. 
All that I've been told is that yep. the Vaudoir have launched a large offensive and have retaken the area in front of their temple, the place where they keep unconscious Vaudoir stored. They need our help to retake the area, though I have a feeling something else is going on. Can you help with the situation? All right, let's accept this. This will be the last one we do. Because this is, this is the last wrap-up quest of the Delta Quadrant area. What? <clears throat> okay. All right, dust to dust. That's what we want, transwarp. It, it, this is the last one, hon. After, after this, we're done with the Delta Quad. Well, like I... No, I said we were done with the main part. I said there was two more wrap-up quests. This is the second of them. <clears throat> this is the second wrap-up quest. Dust to dust. I know, right? <laughs> Come on. Loady up. <laughs> uh, I know you're 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 more of a twenty fifth century gal, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thirty four years ago. Oh, this was during uh, Star Trek Voyage. The breach is widening. I've got to close this now. Oh! There. Oh, this is cool. This quest is cool. Yeah, that was when the that was when the Voyager was doubled. I've already watched that episode in the Trek Watch. No, the Voyager's reintegrated. Oh. The Vodwar are making a new push into the system, and we could use your help. The Rhode Island is assisting the new Kabali flagship Sansar, but you know the Vodwar. They're relentless. Well, why are the Vodwar still attacking the Kabali? Ask them if you can get one of them to have a reasonable discussion. Eldex has been less than cooperative since Gaul's death. We know he's leading the remaining Vaudoir forces, and there's no signs that the neural parasites are still influencing them, which is the only good news. The Vaudoir won't stop their assaults until the Kabali surrender the remaining stasis pods, but the Kabali government refuses to do so unless the Vaudoir agree to peace talks. We're at an impasse. All right. On our way, Captain. Let, let's kill these Vaudoir. Uh, whoa. Uh. Uh, the first Vadwar vessel died, like, really fucking suddenly. Uh, these, these bad are push over. Basically, basically, how can I say this, hun? That extra Harry Kim is, is an STO plot one. Trust me, man. One more group inbound. Brace yourselves. Right there.
Alright, I guess these Vadwar are not so pushovers. Well, pushovers compared to the Vadwar that that gave us that gave us a hard that gave us a hard time, but Try to X bomb me. Nice try, bad face. so quickly. I'm still not sure what happened. All I know is that we lost contact with the temple and several hours later a large Vodwar fleet attacked. However, I'm still not sure if the Vodwar have entered the temple. If they have, they may already be reactivating their soldiers in stasis. We're safe here, for now, but the battle on the ground continues. No one can enter the temple and the Vodwar are seizing control of the surrounding area. We need to take it back. Captain Kim? Hatch on Titanian, the three of us are going in with an away team. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> I've located a safe area in the trenches for transport. My team and I will go down first and secure the area. See you there. Would Voyager be coming to help us? Voyager is currently on a high priority operation in Vaudoir controlled space. Any comm chatter could give away their position. Whatever they're doing, Tuvok says it's important. But that's all I know. Understood. Hatch on Titanian, can your team aid us on the ground? My officers and I will join you. <clears throat> the Samsar will return to the dock with a small repair team, but I'm sending the majority of my crew to the city. We cannot allow the Vodwar to take control of it as well. Our flagship will be of no use to us if the planet is lost. Well, the Zelensky and the Rhode Island will secure the system against any additional Vodwar ships. I have the coordinates of Captain Kim and the team on Kabali Prime, sir. Hatch on Jatanian and the Zoe team will meet us there. You ready to beam down? Let's beam down! <coughs> I know, this is, the, um, this is the last quest. I, ju I just wanted to finish up the Delta Quadrant stuff. Because Delta... Because the problem is... The problem is Delta Quadrant in Star Trek Online is like the Outland in Warcraft. It's where alts go to die, usually. <laughs> I will say this, the next, the, the next the next big quest chain is called the Iconian War. And and we finish up with the Iconian stuff. Talk to Kim. The Kabali forces are spread thin, and the Vodwar are <coughs> making a push toward the temple. If I may, I have a suggestion for our plan of attack. And that is? Hanshin Jatanian and his team will attack the outer area of the trenches, making their way to the temple. My away team will move to the opposite end of the trenches and support the remaining Kabali soldiers there. While they're holding the flanks, your team and I will push through the center and strike the Vodwar in the temple courtyard. Your thoughts? Um, agreed. Hanchar Titanian, do you have any objections? None. <coughs> My team is eager to prove themselves. 
You and your allies have set quite an example for us to live up to. We'll support the forces at the other end of the trenches and then make our way to the temple. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet Hey, up Raven with Wizard, what's up? The final assault. We're, we're finishing up the uh, Delta Quadrant here in Star Trek Online. As you can see, there's uh, three and a half hours left on the clock for the uh, for subathon mode. All right, let's move out. Speak to the Gorn engineer. The Romulans lost the point ahead. They'll be pushed forward and they take it. Whoa, I'm getting out of that. <laughs> do, not, do not walk in the fire. No, no, don't walk in the literal fire either. These turrets, more fatwa will be coming. Here they come. Take out that drop pod. Let's go. Let's take them down. Take out that Vaudoir drop pod, and then keep moving. We're almost there. Ooh, ow. <clears throat> that I did not expect. Alright, let's go, let's go. What the hell? Oh! No, no, we gotta go across somehow. There are other areas of the trenches in need of aid. My team and I could go help them while Captain Kim and his team stay with you. <coughs> or, if you think you can assault the temple alone, Captain Kim will rendezvous with his officers as well. Mm -hmm. However, I highly recommend you bring all of us in. For the for attack, attack on, on the, the temple. temple. Let's do that. Normal. Yes, but please do Are you normal. sure you want all of us to attack the temple? I'm certain. Let's go. Eider bot, yeah. Yeah, the Spee Eider bot. Oh, God. <clears throat> Talk to Kim. The temple is <coughs> secure, and the doors are still locked, <coughs> which means the Vaudoir didn't break in either. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. I've seen this sort of algorithm before. I'll have the door open in no time. After that, we can <coughs> figure out what happened to the temple's security system. It shouldn't have done this. Good. Hatcher and Titanian, do you need support out there? I don't deny that we'll need support. My team is one of the few still intact. Captain Kim's away team should meet up with us soon, but we don't know what kind of numbers we'll be up against. However, the temple itself oh, should okay. be free of Vaudoir. Okay, Raven. Well, thanks for stopping you by. Captain Kim should enter, and your we'll be we'll be going to bed after this quest chain. After this, after this quest bit, yeah. All right. Very well. Our away teams will help defend the temple while Captain Kim and I investigate inside. 
Don't worry, Captain. We'll hold the area while you're inside. You ready to go? All right, let's do it. And it's just, it's just us. And, well, and Captain Kim, of course. <coughs> what? Well, then grab it. It's under the chair. It's like in the middle of the... Oh, no, that's not where it is. Oh, I thought I thought that was your mouse. Well, it's here somewhere, hon. It's got to be here somewhere. At least all the Vaudoir here are in stasis pods. Let's take a look around. Oh, come I want to know on. why the Kabali Which way lost control of their security systems. Unless... Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, sounds good. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Uh, yeah. Oh, <coughs> no, no, no. Raven Wizard's someone just from my community. <coughs> All right, let's go. Um, investigate the open pod. <coughs> that's... That's not right. <coughs> According to these readings, the occupant of this pod was... Me? But the name on it is... Ket... Must be a computer glitch. <coughs> Could be a symptom of a bigger problem, but whoever was in this pod is gone now. Yeah. Looks like it was open before the problem started. <coughs> Hold on. I'll access the temple security footage. Maybe that can show us. Uh huh. All right. Let's see what's in the security footage. <coughs> that's, Excuse me. That's me, but from over thirty years ago. What in the world? Stay back. Are you with the Vidians? What do you want from me? have to calm down. My name is Jet Laya. I'm here to help you. That's not my name. Where am I? <coughs> Where is Voyager? I need to contact my ship. Wait, <coughs> come back. Jet Laya and me? Hold on. There's more security footage. This is the last thing that was recorded. Voyager, this is Ensign Harry Kim. If you get this message, I'm in an unknown alien prison. <coughs> I've escaped my captors, and I'm looking for a way out. I'll send another message with my coordinates as soon as I can. Come, come find me. Oh, jeez. That... That was me. <coughs> From over 30 years ago, in my old Voyager uniform. And... They're turning me... Him into a Kabali. They knew. This whole time I've been here, they knew. And Lindsay, Jidlaya, <coughs> she knew. I know I've had a difficult time accepting the Kabali, but they keep too many secrets. They should have told me. Told us about this. Wait a second. You. How? A lot of strange things happened on Voyager's trip through the Delta Quadrant. During our second year here, <coughs> The ship and everyone on it were duplicated. It was a freak accident, an encounter with a subspace divergence field we still can't completely explain. But two voyagers sharing the same point in space-time, it was a recipe for disaster. Yeah, they both shared the same we tried to time matter. To find some way to save <clears throat> both ships, but but you couldn't. I'm I'm <clears throat> from the duplicate ship. Captain Janeway sacrificed it so one voyager could survive. The other Harry was killed in a hull breach before that happened. Captain Janeway sent me and Ensign Wildman's baby to his Voyager <coughs> before she self-destructed our ship. It made sense at the time. I'm Harry Kim. I have all my memories, my knowledge, same as him. We were exactly alike in every way. And now that's changed. Except it's changed all right. Best I can guess is that a Kabali ship must have found his body floating in space. It's a million to one shot, but... Lindsay might have remembered our coordinates when we were duplicated and known where to start looking. They must have spent decades reconstructing him and putting him through their rebirth process. <coughs> I don't know whether to be impressed or horrified. I think I'll go with both. Who's Jetlaya? 
Jedliah was... is my friend. I knew her as Lindsay Ballard. She was an engineer on Voyager. We went to the academy together. She taught me how to ice skate. We studied together and shared peanut butter sandwiches. And I was more than a little in love with her. Lindsay died on an away mission. The Kabali found her body, revived her, gave her a second life. But she still remembered Voyager. She tried to come back, but... It didn't work out, did it? Rebirth does more than rewrite your genetics. It changes who you are. Lindsay was different. She was Kabali. Eventually, she was convinced she should embrace that part of her. She left Voyager with her new family, and I never saw her again. When I was posted to Kabali Prime, I wanted to talk to her, just to see how she was. She didn't respond to my messages. Now I know why. Do you have any theories about how there's two of you? A lot of strange Oh, I already did that. I'm, okay, okay, okay. It's Never changed, mind. all right. So you're not the best I can real guess is Harry that a Kabali ship Kim? must have. If you want to get technical, Harry and I are the same person. <clears throat> we have the same memories, the same knowledge. We both hate the cold, and we love music, and we both like <clears throat> mushrooms and onions on pizza. And we share a soul, I guess you could say, if you go for that sort of thing. Quantum duplication is a difficult thing to summarize. It's only happened a few times. I don't even understand it. And I wouldn't be alive without it. Well, will you be able to complete our mission? I'll be okay. A little shaken up, but... Captain Janeway once told me... I just did, officers. actually. Weird is what we do. And this certainly applies. So, what's your opinion of the situation? From what we saw on the security footage, it looks like the other me has taken control of the entire base. That's not too surprising. Not only does he have all the knowledge of a Starfleet officer, the rebirth process transformed his brain. The Kabali's six lobed <coughs> brains give them natural abilities in mathematics, physics, wave phenomena, everything he'd need to know to do this. He's still wearing his comm badge, though. I can tap into it. Don't you want to talk to him? Talking to him? Not yet. He's already scared and confused. Seeing <clears throat> me before he gets his bearings, it will just make things worse. Agreed. I'll talk to him. <clears throat> Zipline across the chasm. Uh. Oh! The ziplines are over here. You get close to it and then there's a button. But you have to trust us. What is this? Another me? You expect <clears throat> me to trust a shapeshifter? All right, let's open the door. The circuits are completely fried. Let's find another door. Open the other door. What other door? This door. <clears throat> He's trying to override it again. Give me a second. Keep going. <clears throat> Move forward. Oh, what do we have here? <clears throat> because it's now clear that war is inevitable, planning for preservation of this community must take place. In the event of a catastrophic attack, the population will be assigned to shelters. Priority for stasis will be given to people with skills vital to the rebuilding effort after the war ends. Block 86743 Gamma is reserved for those with scientific or medical expertise. Healer Fovine and Healer Mario will remain out of stasis to ensure the process goes smoothly. Their sacrifices will be remembered when the Vaudoir rises again. Oh, jeez. Well, let's keep going. Um... Uh... Uh... 
Um, do we have to examine it again? No? Oh, wait a minute, unless... What? We went the wrong way. We tried the other door again. <coughs> no, no, that's not true. <coughs> oh, God. All right, what is going on? Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Up here. See the little tiny ramp? Yeah. Hi. <sighs> huh. It looks like he's modified <coughs> the empty stasis pods to send out bursts of electricity. Tricky. I might be able to slow it down from here, but we can't stop what he's done without access to the main console, which is on the other no. side of the room. Let's see. I'll stay here and do what I can to delay the bursts, but you'll <coughs> have to get past them to shut them down. All right, stay here. I'll get to the console and shut this Got down. Got it. You'll need to move through when they're in their disabled state. Who are you? Why do you keep trying to stop me getting back to my ship? Oh, ow. I went... I'm... I'm you. Harry, this isn't going to be easy to explain. Oh, good Liar. point. You can't be me! I'm your quantum doom. Remember the power failures? The proton bursts? There were two Voyagers. Yeah, right. How would that happen? Uh, you don't remember, dude? <clears throat> it was the spatial decision. Think carefully. No one's theoretically possible. Maybe. Maybe. But that doesn't explain why I'm here. Or why you don't want me to get back to Voyager. Oh, God, more. It's been 32 years, Harry. You... You died. Ah! I don't feel dead! There. The Kabali brought you back. But to do so, they had to change your DNA. Make you Kabali. You can't just change someone like that. It's not possible. I didn't think it was possible either. Oh, God. So I died and got better, and you... What? Took over my life? Yeah, but unfortunately, I can't, uh... In a manner of speaking, but it was my life too. Yeah, fucked. <coughs> oh Liar! My. You're working with the Vidians. Come on. It's done. Good work. We should keep moving. Um. Oh, this way. <coughs> hmm. Harry! 
Jitlaya, are you okay? <coughs> How did... General Cunell said there wouldn't be any more secrets. I'm... I'm okay. Harry? I didn't know they'd send you. How long did you know? Harry, I don't think this is the time. How long <clears throat> did you know? I didn't know when I was on Voyager, if that's what you're asking. We need to stop Ketten. <clears throat> he locked the rest of my team away. They're safe, but trapped. We're the only ones who can help him. All right. Talk to Jitlaya. We need to move fast. <clears throat> Ketten's not in his right mind. The rebirth process can be difficult under the best conditions, and I don't know. Maybe humans resist the process more than other species. It took me a long time to accept who, what I was. And he's having the same problems? Yes. He doesn't know what happened. I tried to tell him, but he still thinks it's 32 years ago, Voyager is lost in the Delta Quadrant, and we're in league with the Vidians. He's desperate to get home. When Ketten started tampering with the security devices, he tripped an alert that was sent to the Vodwar. They think their soldiers are waking up, <clears throat> ah, which is why okay. they're so desperate to get inside. He's putting us all at risk. We need to help him. Well, we'll do all we can. Action item 238. <clears throat> Resurrect your best friend and give him a second chance for a long life. It's not working out so well, is it? He's trying to contact Voyager. Is that possible from here? I'm not familiar with everything in this area. We rarely go down this deep. There are still Vodwar traps here that make exploration dangerous. However, as far as we understand, this facility was intended as a final shelter for the Vodwar. It would make sense that they would have had a way to contact the outside world. But if Ketten finds a communication device and uses it to contact Voyager, the Vodwar <coughs> will hear his message too. Uh, what's your analysis, Captain Kim? Ketten is a danger to himself and to Voyager. If he succeeds in this gambit and contacts Voyager, he'll draw every Vodwar in the sector to their coordinates. I can't allow that. We have to stop him. He's putting Tuvok and his crew in danger. Then we need to save them both. Well, let's go. Just let me get back to Voyager! Oh, God. It looks like this used to be a server room of sorts, but it's not like what <clears throat> I've seen before. All this is computer storage, and it's massive. 900-year-old Vodwar technology. It's a lot different from anything we have back home, and he's using this to completely block us out. Terrific. There doesn't seem to be a way around this. Well, can you lower whatever these things are? I'm sure Jidlaya and I can figure out something, given enough time. But if I was on the other side of this, and I am, I'd be trying to stop anyone from moving these. There has to be some sort of reset command. <clears throat> but with our luck, huh. it's on the far side of the maze. Jidlaya and I will keep Ketten from blocking you in. <clears throat> but you'll need to get through this and reset the servers so they return to their star position. Think All I right. can make you a door? Wait here. All right, great. You keep working on it. I'll start trying to find a way through it. You're good to go. I'll monitor the area from here. All right. All right, we have a door. I'm sorry this is how we had to meet again, Harry. Mark Hallway as the dead end. That makes two of us. You should have told me. All right. And if we had, what would you have done? Ah! I don't know. But I had the right to know you had a copy of me in cold storage. Are you saying he doesn't have the right to rebirth? I... I don't know. This is all a lot all to right. take in. Alright, there's another dead end. That's okay. 
Well, I know it is. Imagine how Ketten feels. I have a good idea. Confused, angry, isolated. Hey, I found stairs. Ketten died trying to save Voyager, and it happened so oh, quickly. Right here. Oh. He doesn't even <coughs> realize what happened. <coughs> hey. He understood the risks, and he accepted them. Um. Try to see if I can. Hey. Did he really? Think about the man you were then. Nope, I guess. Oh, damn. Oh, well. Joining Starfleet comes with certain duties. I understood that then, and I do now. I seem to remember a kid who was as scared as I was. All we wanted was to get home. Uh, I found a dead end. <laughs> yeah. I was scared back then. I missed my family. But I did what I had to do to get back to them. You got back home, Harry. What? You did what you had to do. Ketten? I'm right here. Get that chance. Not not that way, hun. And I'm sorry for him. But is this better? Where are you? Right here. <clears throat> he has a new life. Ketten um, can be anything or go anywhere he wants now. As a Kabali, ah. he's not... He's not who he was anymore. Ah! Another freaking dead end. Dead and dead end. is that a worse option than being What dead? the hell? Speak with a lost... I found a lost Kabali. Finally, I found someone. <laughs> no. I got separated from not. everyone when all but the craziness started. I should have and been I was able trying to, to find my way to a comm panel to call for help when this maze just rose up around me. <sighs> Why? Now he's I have no idea what to but he's do. not you. Well, I'll do what I can to help Thank you. Thank you. And I know this is a terrible way to meet a potential captain, but do you have... I know what he would want. ...on board your ship? General Cunell is planning an what? officer exchange program, and I'm one of the first recruits. Oh, stay where you are. We want to learn from <coughs> the lines, as well as because thank you can't for even all you've done Ketten for our world. Drop this I'd be honored if you, you allow me to join your crew, as soon as I find my way out of here, of course. Well, Starfleet will be honored to have a Kabali on the Zelensky. Maybe we are different. Join. He's being so stubborn. <clears throat> yeah, the lost Kabali. He's you, but <coughs> all right, hold up. And he's allowed to be both. All right, meet me at meet me at this X. <clears throat> what? Oh, the panel. Duh. Thought you could handle all my tricks, old man. We're working well, 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 on let me gym. get let me get over there. Take all the time you need. You know, you could make this easier. Drop the maze. Talk to us. Why? I'm trying to find you. So you can you. lie to me again? I'm not lying right, to you. On. I know it's a lot to take in, but... Ah, another dead end? Wait for me, please. Don't treat me like a child. If you're not lying, then you stole my life. It was my life, too. I didn't steal anything. That's I'm, great. 
I'm coming, so I'm coming, I'm coming. I, <sighs> I, I feel I'm getting pod? closer. <clears throat> Examine Vadwar hasn't console. exactly been everything I always wanted. Getting home wasn't easy. Oh, no less than 42% of the pods be you know, survive and rise from the ashes. To come. But ah, you did it's... get home. I didn't. All right. What's yours? What's your console say? I understand how you feel, but I cannot change what happened. And if you could, you'd what? Trade places with me? I can't I'm trying do to that. find my way to All you. I can do is try to help you now. <clears throat> Stop lying to me. Yeah, it's going to it's going to it's going to still glow. <clears throat> you know that's not true. All right. Maybe I do. It doesn't change anything. It could. Drop the maze. Let us talk to you. Oh, all right. All right. Follow I'm, me. I'm not ready Follow for that. Me. Not yet. I'm so sorry about what happened to you, but all this is just making it what worse. The? Maybe it is. Oh! That's the dead end. Not this. No, that is the dead end. What the f- So let us help you. This is to get insane. back to Voyager. I'll figure all this out once I'm home. Um, this way. I do too, hon. Ah. That doesn't always work. Are you behind me? Alright. Alright, there's that other console. See? It, it said the same thing, didn't it? Ah! Dead end. Oh, what about... How about... Nope, that's more dead end. Okay. Oh, wait, blah, blah, blah. This way. What? Someone shot at you! In the dead end? Hmm. Yeah. Neither am I, trust me. What? Oh, all right. Oh, oh, okay. Wait! Hey! We're out! Disable the maze. <coughs> um, I guess we're going... No, 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 not that way. Hold on. This way. I 
Alright. I know. <clears throat> it's not working. But if I do this, maybe I can buy some time. <clears throat> Oh, God. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. More fucking obstacles. <clears throat> we have him. Ket, cornered. Without those platforms, though, we have no way to reach him. It's insane. He's manipulating these old defense systems <clears throat> like he's in a Captain Proton hollow. I need you and Jetlai to figure out how to get these platforms operational again. We have command codes that allow us to interface with the older Vadwa technology. And we've never seen the need <coughs> to replace systems that still work. But it looks like Ketten has made some modifications. I'll need to override his changes. The best I can do right now is to expose the central power cores behind each platform. Well, it's a start. Captain Kim, does that give you anything to work with? Yes, it does. Ketten will be monitoring for any changes in the platform's functionality but I can modify the central power cores to react to energy weapons. If you shoot the cores, you'll be able to power up the platforms and force them open. But you'll only have a short window before he resets them. If we want to do this, Jetlaya and I will stay here to keep trying to seize control of the network back from Ketten. And there's still that matter of the field protecting it. I'm open to suggestions. When the Kabali first found this room, <coughs> the old Vodwar EPS systems were too degraded to handle all the power. They installed regulators throughout the area as a stopgap measure until they could replace the conduits. Basically, it meant that even if one conduit failed, the network would stay active. Those regulators are still in place, and we can use them to get to Ketten. So what's your plan? Jedlaya has command codes we can use to overload the regulators. The chain overload will generate a wave of power that will build until it overloads the generators Ketten is using to maintain the field protecting him. Get these codes into four of the consoles and it will short out the field. Once he's distracted, Jitlaya and I can reset the platforms to their normal state. All right, anything else I need to know? One last thing. Jitlaya and I can run this program three different ways. The one that would buy you the most time before the platforms are reduced also takes the most of our attention. There's also <clears throat> a balanced option. Or, if you don't like either of those, I can spend most of my time trying to counter Ketten's plans. What do you want us to do? Whatever we choose will determine how difficult it will be for you going forward. Well, better safe than sorry. <clears throat> Are you certain you want us to focus yes. our efforts on keeping the platforms operational? Give us a few more seconds. <clears throat> the cores are exposed. It's your move now. What the hell? So did I. Wait a minute. Enter override commands to reach Ken. Oh, what the hell? I know. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember what I did last time. Oh my god. No. I'm trying to f I'm trying to remember how I did this. Oh, duh. Shoot them. Oh, I already shot them. Oh! Oh, okay. There! That's what we had to do.
What are you doing? Are those command codes? Oh, interesting. He's trying to access data on the new flagship. I'll keep an eye on him. it. Keep giving me the codes. Oh my god. Whatever you're thinking of trying, don't. We're almost there. down before this gets any worse. Ow! Personal shield losing worse? No. How can it get worse? What? I don't want anyone to get hurt. Oh, what the? Jeez. Don't do anything you're where, going to where regret. Are you? You're behind me. I'm going home. Whatever it takes. You gotta, you gotta shoot these little things. You can't go to Voyager. All right, you see those you and see those you I see those lit up things on the wall. Shoot them. Um the nearest ones first, I would assume. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Override code. <clears throat> All right. You're too late. Yep. I'm getting back to Voyager, no matter what. <clears throat> what the fuck? You should be able to get. You should be able to get the here. Get here now. Because the override codes are in. Hun. Oh. Enemy targets on sensors. Shit. All right. Oh, I see. No, 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 no. I see. Where are you? Oh, 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 I, I see where you are. You are up there on one of the scaffoldings. Um, jump down. Yes, jump down. Okay. No, no, all right, all right. Basically, um, basically, I want to show you something. Look at the floor. And you'll see there are there are areas of the floor. The uh, ow! God damn it! All right, all right, no, no, all right, all right, all right. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Okay. Try landing on the l on on a lighter area, like that. You see the lighter? There was lighter area, and there's uh, what? 
Oh! Oh my god. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Basically begin well like I said, jump down on one of the on one of the things in the jump jump down but don't land on one of the uh, one of the dark lit areas. You just jump down and make sure you don't land on what yeah, okay. Now look in front of you. You see this little path there? You see that little path? Walk across. All right. Now, now pre pre pretend it's cat. Pretend it's um. Pretend it's Alamorain. Hold on. All right. Yeah. Just make sure that you do not touch. The lit areas. All right. Whoop. Ah, hold on. What? That was close. All right. Now go across here, and you made it. Yes, that was awful. All right. I don't know. This is bad. Ketan used Jedliah's command codes to access the Kabali flagship in orbit and transport himself to the bridge. <coughs> Not only that, but he has Voyager's coordinates. If he goes there, the Vodwar will see it as an act of war. <coughs> we'll lose Ketan, the Kabali flagship, and probably Voyager too. He won't stand a chance against the Vodwar. Not alone. Exactly. We have to stop that ship. I'll agree. All right. I'll return to Zelensky. You should get back to the Rhode Island. I'm coming, too. I helped find Ketan's body. I've watched over him during the rebirth process. It's my responsibility to help him now. <clears throat> Please, you must let me do this. I need Can you at least hear it? The mistakes I've made. No, 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 no. You're not missing it. We're, we're, we're doing the mini quest chain that is Dash. Right, very well. Go with Captain Kim. I'll be on the Zelensky. Transport me directly to the bridge. We're going after that Kabali ship! There. <clears throat> I told you to stay away! Why won't you listen? <clears throat> I'm going to find Voyager, and I won't let you stop me. I can arm this ship. Don't make me do it. Oh, God. I don't want to hurt you, <clears throat> but I will if you keep trying to stop me from getting back to Voyager. Voyager's in enemy territory. If you go there, you will die. Computer, arm all weapons and fire. Yes, we're fighting because he's an idiot. We disable the ship. Oh, no, it's his gun. What? <clears throat> like a disruptor. <clears throat> he scrambled all of our systems for a second or two and then went to warp. This is not good. He set a course for Voyager. Fuck! His warp drive's damaged, though. He's only going warp six, and I don't think he can push the engines any harder. Not without an engineering team. I know we can catch him. Then we just have to convince him to stop. All right, set pursuit course.
Advance border coordinates for the Samsars bridge. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Pray, you are in Hirachin ah, space. A new Kumbhala that battleship. Is an interesting We've ship. heard rumors about the corpse collectors and their new toys. But this is Hirogen space. <clears throat> Leave now. <clears throat> the ship is a trophy. We will see how well it performs in a hunt. The ship is disabled. This hunt will not please you. Perhaps. But wounded prey can be amusing as well. <sighs> or maybe I'll strip it and display its bones as a warning to intruders. Oh god, you need no choice. Red alert! <laughs> Agreed. I'll transport with you to the bridge. I'm going to. I have to see Kenton face to face. It's time to talk this out. One to transport. <clears throat> All right. Come on, game. Hey, hey. There's one good thing about this. There's one good thing about this. Look how low Maybe the clock is right now. First. Try to calm him down. <clears throat> He's not in the mood <laughs> to listen to Harry or me. <clears throat> I'll do what I can. Why are you trying so hard to keep me from getting home? I need to... I don't even understand what's going on anymore. Why, why do I look like this, <clears throat> like them? They're called Kabali, and you're becoming Kabali too. Did you see the data on the ship's logs? I saw the star date. <clears throat> what, what happened? How do I get back to Voyager, to my time? How do I get back to my life? Harry, you died. 32 years ago. The Kabali revived you, but you will be Kabali. There's no turning back. I... I died? I... I can't... <clears throat> oh. Ketan, you have to stop this. If you contact Voyager, you'll... I'm done listening to you. I, I just want to go home. I want my life back. The life you stole from me! I understand. I wanted to be Ensign Lindsay Ballard. I loved my life, <clears throat> my friends, you. And then I died. And 
that life was gone. I tried to get it back, but I would have been living a lie. So I should just give up who I am? No, I'm saying <clears throat> that life ended. But now you have a chance to live a new one. <clears throat> I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Action item 478. Help my best friend own the day. Every day. Even with everything I've done. Mm-hmm. Yep. Forgiven. <clears throat> We don't hold grudges against family. I... Aww. I can't tell you what to do, Ken. But the Kabali will be there for you. And I'll do whatever I can to help. Well, I'm still wearing Captain Stripes, too, but I don't care. Would you... Tell me what happened? Voyager, and how you got home. About Mom and Dad and Libby. I think I want to know. Of course I can. <clears throat> Aww. Thank you for your help. Cat <clears throat> is going to have a new life with us. A long and happy one where he can be whoever he wants to be. My people have been outsiders for so long. The other species don't understand us or what we have to do to survive. We want to reach out to them. Be a part of the Quadrant again. Oh, we got another raid. <laughs> Eddie the Kid. Thank you so much for that raid. Thank you so much for the raid. We are... Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> why Why am I in caps lock? Yeah, we're pretty much wrapping it up. We wanted to finish up the uh, the, the Delta Quadrant quests here. If Kevin decides he and this is the end of it. Kabali Prime at some point, <clears throat> that's his choice. He can even rejoin Starfleet. But we will always be his family. Fair enough, Captain Kim. I'm happy for Ken. He gets a second chance at life. <clears throat> a different one than what he had planned, but that's the way life is. When I graduated from the <clears throat> Academy, I never thought I'd spend seven years lost in the Delta Quadrant. Didn't think it would take me as long as it did to get my own command. Didn't think Lindsay and I would never... That's all in the past now. And it's made me the man I am today. How goes the stream? Just goes like well, Eddie. Just the man he's supposed to be. We're still in subathon mode, though. <laughs> we have two hours and 32 minutes left on the clock. And basically, um, if, hook, if it doesn't run out to the, tonight, and it probably won't, uh, then we'll and add then another three hours stroke. to the clock for tomorrow, since I normally the stream, on, want to be a part of the Delta since I would normally stream on Wednesdays. They need to be more forthcoming about who they're adding to their families. <clears throat> These men and women aren't getting a choice. Maybe rebirth is a gift. Should have the right to reject. Yeah, agreed. Good luck, Captain Kim. Does Lenski's ready to leave whenever you are, Captain? Energize! Oh my god. Alright, well, no, do not enter the Kabali system. has been sent back to Kabali Prime to finish the process of rebirth. In the meantime, the Kabali have agreed to make their list of currently held bodies public knowledge. Anyone who wishes for their dead not to be turned into Kabali will have the body returned to them. Thank you for all your help with this. This was very personal for me to deal with, and I'm glad I had someone like you at my side to help me through it. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, oh, God. What am, what am I... I need, I need my advice, too. Um, <laughs> Regenerate shield array, deflector array, polar on beam array... Oh my god, let me see here. Um uh, <clears throat> Kabali deflectors. Hmm. Kabali impulse engines. Let me see. Kabali Regenerative Shield Array. Let's see. <coughs> ah. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna take the shield array. Actually. I'm currently on leave from Voyager, and I was passing near the Hopus system in a shuttlecraft when I picked up some odd energy readings. I took a detour to investigate. You, know, you can't be too careful where Hopus is concerned. But I wouldn't mind some help. Can you rendezvous with me at these coordinates? Having a real starship here would be a big help. Okay, by the way, Uneasy Allies is the, uh, is the next quest in the next story arc. So, all right. All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me see what I have here. I fa. Hey, hey. Come on. There we go. All right. Two <clears throat> heavy cans. Mark ten. Nah. Wait a minute. No. There's my regenerator of shield array. Oh. There. Hold on. Console engineering. <coughs> Uh, let me see the tan. Oh. All right. <coughs> What this is here. <clears throat> okay, what's that? That would be Actually, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't need an engineering kit module though. I'll get rid of that too. Sort. All right, let me look at this. <coughs> Time to see to met. All right, to met, you're taking that. Hold on.
Um, hun, jeez. Come on. Eight. Okay. All right. Boom. 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 Recycle those. All right. <clears throat> Sort, do that, close that, and and log out. All right, <clears throat> and yes, end the stream because <laughs> we've been going for about seven hours. <laughs> hey, but we got we knocked a lot of time off the uh, subathon clock there. All right, so let me see uh, two. Our figure about 0220, so that means when we start tomorrow, the clock will be at 0520. Um, so let's uh, let's get let's get the uh, let's get the oh wait a minute wait a minute come on uh, where's there it is let's get the credits rolling here. Come on. I want to try to get this done <laughs> as quick as I can. Um, we also have some uh, shout-outs today. We also have shout-outs today as well. We had a few raids. We had a raid from Ronko Hashino. I can't type. Um, we had a raid from Garlic Bakery. Uh, L I K B A K. There we. No, not garlic bakery. Garlic bakery. God, I can't. Ah. God, I cannot type. There we go. And we just uh, had a raid from uh, Eddie the kid, who was uh, who was playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There we go. And also, thanks to Hector for the bit. Um, so we are, I believe, 18 bits away from adding another minute to the clock. Um, tomorrow, uh, we'll be again at 11 p.m. Eastern, uh, Fortune Street. I don't know if our usual gang will be able to, uh, will be able to come on that late. Um, <clears throat> if they can't, then we'll do some unlocking. We'll try to unlock some stuff in uh, via the uh, via the single player mode. So, yeah. So, let's see who's on the raid -a meter tonight, folks. Anybody just end it? Oh, jeez. Um. Uh. Uh. How about Fuwa? We'll go. We'll do Fuwa again because uh, because Fuwa is still doing uh, that subathon. It um, she's in day number thirty-four of her subathon now. So um, so let's go and raid her. And until tomorrow night, you know what to do, folks. Follow and subscribe. Join the Particle Acceleration. You can also join us on Discord, exclamation mark, Discord in the chat, or scroll down to where it says, join the Particle Acceleration on Discord. Till tomorrow, I'm DJ Particle. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>